What's up, bitches? Okay. We are now live. And I am moving this to the screen. What time is that? 9.43? I'm gonna be up for a while. If the title wasn't already a... a good... example. I guess the title doesn't get crossed over when I upload my VODs to YouTube. Basically, I'm staying up as late as I possibly can. I don't know if I'll be streaming that whole time, but I will be trying to stay awake in an attempt to save my sleep schedule. Or not really save her, but like fix it. And I finally re-logged into my Twitch on Streamlabs so that I can actually type from uh, Streamlabs instead of having to go onto Twitch manually. I, mean, I already put it in, but I'll put it in again. You do exclamation point music. It brings up the playlist for um, the playlist that I use when I put music in my streams, which is usually the during the intro and outro, like the starting and ending streams. Although when I think when I if I play games like Valorant probably, I'll probably have music playing in the background and then I will use that playlist. But that means I also gotta like make it longer. <laughs> Cause currently the playlist has because I have to manually go through and add the music and I only add music that I like. Cause I have to listen to it. So it's forty six songs currently and it lasts two hours and 15 minutes according to spotify um but yeah and also genshin's taking a hot minute to load in but it's yeah that's the playlist i use oh and there's discord with the discord with the night nightbot with the discord link it my my chat right now is just a shit ton of links yeah, I have a Discord. I also have a YouTube. I'm pretty sure if I do... Yeah, there's a Discord. And if you do... YouTube, yeah. Oh, shit! <gasps> Give me a second. We are being assaulted. I haven't opened Genshin yet until right this moment. Gather. Hate fighting this thing. Does this actually damage it? No, it doesn't. Which is why I hate fighting this thing. So I need to fight this thing. Well, it's either fight this or fight the pyro hypostasis, and I think I prefer the flower. Life goes on. Whatever. Solidify. Order guide you. Um, this guy specifically is because oh shit is because um since my biggest like DPS really is 
physical damage with Beto or elemental damage with Yenfei, it doesn't really work. Because physical damage doesn't do much to the, um, to the, the thingies that you're supposed to attack. I don't know what they're called right now. The name escapes me. Um, oh, they changed it. It's been a hot minute. Oh, I can get Wanderer. Who is that? This character. Who are you? I mean, do I want Kokomi or do I want... Farazan? Don't know who you are. I mean, Wanderer. I know Wanderer can, like, float or something. I still need to get... Actually, I have just enough to buy one. Do I want- well, I don't even know if I'll get the one that I want. The hell is the bat? I don't know. Kokomi. Which one do I want to try for is the, is the real question here. I don't know, because I want both. I mean, if I get a Yenfei constellation, that'll be cool too, since I use Yenfei quite a bit. Rosaria constellation would also be cool, because I do use her a little bit. I don't know who that character is at all. They're like, last promotion items, list of items. Mona, D. Luke. Jean, 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 Jean. Rosaria. I don't know who you are. I don't know who- I, I, I have that character, but I haven't done anything with it. I don't know who half these characters are! Oh, hi, Ju. Sarah. I don't know at this point. Um... I need, like, an outside opinion. My friend online. Just go annoy my friend. playing Valorant for four hours? What the fuck? Jesus. I mean, I've done the exact same thing. It's okay, so we'll wait for her to respond. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I was about to say, did the fucking summer event end? No, it didn't. Um... Test runs. We can test run them. Oh, jeez. We need to do the prerequisites for the summer thing so that I can do it. Okay, Lauren says, Wanderer, Kokomi sucks ass. Okay. We gotta, we gotta do a lot of, a lot of things. Complete the quest through the pre-dawn night, which I don't know what the fuck that is. So we can do this summer event. I've done every single summer event. I didn't really, I never really finished the first one. But I've done every single one. 
So I'm not gonna miss this one. What the hell? Oh, he has a hangout, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna unlock Baiju, and that's about it. Uh, sure, we'll unlock him just because we can. Lauren says hi, and Kokomi sucks in my opinion. <coughs> I asked Lauren if she wanted to say anything to stream. And that's what she wanted to say. Okay, I guess we're wishing for Wanderer, even though she has no idea who Wanderer is. <laughs> but she says that Kokomi sucks, so we'll wish for Wanderer. We don't even get Wanderer! <laughs> okay, Rosaria. I did say a Rosaria constellation would be fine. I mostly wanted a Yenfei one, though. Damn, okay. Telling Lauren that I didn't get Wanderer. It's fine. I know I got a bunch of dust. Which we can use. Five each. And now how many do I have? I have five. Sick. Um I really not have not opened. Genshin in I think like a week. I wanna say something like that. I've been quite busy with Subnautica and school and my cousin's wedding, which is why I was gone this weekend. Or last weekend, I guess. Um Constellation. Oh, we have four constellation with her now. I should level her up. Okay. Sick. Okay, I do have. I had two characters that were 90, I think. Yeah, Fado and Chi Chi. And I was working on Yenfei, that's why I kept fighting the Fire Flower. Mm. So that I could get these, because they drop from the flowers or the hypostasis. And I figured the flower was the easiest. Although maybe I can try hypostasis. But we need to do the boring stuff first, which is using up my resin. Um, I don't have to do the commissions just yet, if I don't really want to, because I don't. Um, but for her ascension, we need these and this. The reason that it doesn't match up like most others is because the prime of geo bishops don't drop this stuff as far as i'm aware at least before i don't think they do yeah they oh i know they do hmm. it is strange and unprecedented well, whatever um i guess they do but they dropped all of them so the likelihood of me getting the one that I need is very unlikely. So I've been fighting fire flowers. But then I also have to do like the talents as well. If I really want to make my character strong. This is good. Hello, Lauren. Welcome to chat. This is Lauren, everybody. The person who told me to wish for Wanderer. I didn't get one. Or do you want to see what it looks like? That's him. This guy. As far as I know, thanks to TikTok, is he is extremely traumatized and that he's an animal character and that he can float. Like, with his powers and stuff. That's all I know about him. Um, and then there was Kokomi, obviously. So can't see- you can't see- oh, you can't see the stream? What do you mean you can't see the stream? 
Like, oh, because you're playing Valorant. I assume that's why. See Genshin loading screen. What do you mean you see Genshin loading screen? Hold on, does stream see a Genshin loading screen right now? Because Streamlabs says it doesn't. Are you actually fucking kidding me right now? That's not the right button. Channel. Wait a minute, it was just me. Okay, thank god. Oh. You scared me, Lord. I was like, please don't tell me my fucking stream is broken. Okay. <laughs> you scared me. Oh my god. I'm about to run out of stamina. Oh shit. I am gonna do that. Let me see. Oh, you want to see Wanderer? This guy. Well, I guess I could go into, like, the character thing. Oh, that's not how you look at it. Uh, character archive. Where the fuck is he? What? There he is. Oh, yeah, he's, like, Scaramouche or whatever. But he's called Wanderer. Or, I don't know if he's Scaramouche exactly, but I don't know. I just know he looks like him, and that this guy is severely traumatized. Oh, Why you- What the <laughs> What the fuck was that? He just growled and then... Stuck his tongue out at me. But yeah. I didn't even get him. I got a constellation for Rosaria. So it's a character I don't really use. I mean, I do and I don't. I don't use her enough to make it worse at all. Just a sad thing. He floats. Yeah, he floats. I've seen a clip of him, like, like a TikTok, like a funny Genshin TikTok, where the person was, like, playing as Wanderer and he floats. So, fun. I think also he's the animal character who saves us in Sumeru since there seems to be like an animal character in every nation that saves us because of- I've seen people saying that like when jo okay. I don't know if you remember this one, but you know how in- I don't remember until I saw the videos. But Venti says after we leave Mondstadt, he's like, and we- uh, I bless the winds to like protect you or whatever. I don't know how he says it, but basically he he says- he gives us, like, a blessing that the winds will protect us. And in every single nation, an animo character protected us. So first it was it was Venti in Mondstadt. And then it was uh, Shao in Liyue. And then it was Kazuha in Inazuma. And I've heard that Wanderer is the animo character for Sumeru. But I haven't been to Sumeru yet. So I don't know. But he is an animo character. And I've heard that we get like really close to him or something i don't fucking know but we're gonna hopefully try to get to that point today since i'm gonna be up all night <laughs> Sup, dude? it's been a hot minute since i fought you I totally understand. Okay. Let's see if we can do this without Zhongli shield Because I didn't used to fight him with Zhongli in my party. Okay. Okay, well... Ugh. Fuck. Not bad. 
I fumbled my buttons. But we're fine. Opening box of Adepti Trix. Damn it. I meant to push three, not one. I'm stupid. Okay. I know, like, Val, what happened. Are you doing the premiere right now? Because you've been playing Val for four fucking hours, according to Discord. I just used my shield. You fucking so weird. Oh yeah, that's true. People are weird in Val. When's the next premiere thing? Uh, I haven't done it. I need to stream Val, but I don't want to be alone. I don't want to stream Val alone because weird people. Guys. Get yeah, fuck. For you Thursday? Okay. Eyes on me. You gotta tell me how it goes. Or how is the premiere going for you? I don't really know what exactly you've been doing so far. God damn it. That hurts me so much. It's amazing. Oh, more things to explode. Life goes on. Oh dear God, I need that's a lot to read. Faster. Oh, don't put me okay, in the corner. Uh, of course. <coughs> and then they were all nice in the game, and then I just heard. Oh God. Yep, that's Valor for you. I feel like when I play Valorant on stream, I'm just gonna end up muting so many people because. I don't need that on my stream. Can you fuck off? Go. Okay, I've heard talk about like uh, Genshin characters that care, like that get carried, or Genshin players that get carried by their mains. And the one I keep seeing is Zhang Li. Zhongli doesn't carry me. Fucking Chi Chi carries me. That's that's how it works. Because like yeah, Zhongli has a fucking shield, so I can't. I don't have to worry about like dodging. But Chi Chi, I have upped her fucking healing so fast, so good. Is that like, look at this. Look at look how fast she. He <laughs> this is amazing. Like, Zhongli doesn't carry me. Chi Chi carries me. Are you not gonna do your little- okay, he's not doing his thingy. Cause I save her shield for when he wants to spit into the ground. Ow. Bye. Did it give me the red ones like I need? It gave me two little ones. <laughs> I need so many of the um, juvenile jade, I guess is what it's called. Where is she? How many do I need? 20! <laughs> if I get two every single time, that is 10 total fucking times I have to fight this guy. Jesus Christ. And then we have like her talents. Which is just, those are max. I don't know what the max is, the max level. Who's, t okay, whose talents am I gonna work on first? Because 
the ascension flip I can work on any time, but the talents are like time restricted. Who do I need the most? Probably her. Let's do her. Oh, that's why. I need these fucking things. And I need that. For in phase ascension. Never mind. What about this? It is a, gonna be Wednesday in two hours. Um, are they all this one? Oh Jesus! I don't even have enough money for that. Oh, how do you make m Mora in Genshin? I've never had to worry about that. Who are you? I did a thing. God, okay. Um, who else can I fight? Well, we should pr I could probably fight, like, Devalin. Or Storm Terror. I just need to use up my current resin, and then maybe later, after I've gone through a bunch of story quests, we'll fight more things I with my fragile resin. I mean, he has a chance of giving me- I need these things, the size specifically, and then he doesn't even drop the red ones. What is this bullshit? I don't give a fuck about lower party level than the Shut the fuck up. I fought him last week with this party setup. I think weaker than this party setup, actually. And I was fine. Just because it says it's lower doesn't mean that it, it's just going to take me a million years to do it. Solidify. Time. Oh yeah, because you got you gave away your Genshin account. Think about the out of all the Trounce domain fight things, whatever the fuck you call these, the weekly yeah. ones. Um, Devalin's probably my least favorite. That I remember. What? It's floating in the fucking sky. The 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 pillar is floating in the sky. He's shooting things at me. Get dodged, fucker. I mean, Navalin was like the first one you do, but doing this over and over again all the time is just. It's painful. I don't like doing it. Fuck you. Oh, fuck! You guys didn't see anything. I'm dying right now. He's not even on my... Can I hit him from here? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> okay. Gather. Jesus. Motion to compel. Yeah. 
more damage, Yunfei or Beta? I think it's the same, but Yunfei attacks faster. Mac. Stabilize. Take this. Incinerate. <laughs> Never <near me. laughs> Rise. <sighs> Motion to compel. Okay. He's gonna do the thingy, I think. Oh fuck. Why isn't it letting me fly? Okay. Okay. Chill. Ow. Why the wind currents created by the animal grana to move between platforms. Life goes on. Okay, fuck. Am I going the wrong way? No. I don't think so. I think he just hates me. I have no stamina, hold on. Okay, bye! Guide you. Tenacious. You fucker. Look at how much little health he has. Incinerate. This game hates me. Confirm. Also, do you know what's Okay, so he's a dragon, right? Devalon's a dragon. But has anyone noticed how, like, he looks furry? You don't really expect dragons to be furry. What the hell? Forgot about this. Solidify! Guy. He's still- is still shooting shit, and he's not- okay. There we go. <laughs> we did- we got the other two, but not the one I actually needed. And we got none of the- the red ones. What the fuck? Oh, fuck you, game. Um, another trounce domain that I am aware of is the coin house. What's it called? This one? The golden house. Which is where you fight child. Or Tartaglia. The guy that I absolutely fucking hate, but he's so pa Like, his actual character attacks is so cool. So if I had him, he'd be on my party, but I would hate every second of it. I hate him. Does he drop the red ones? No. He does not. He does give these though, which I don't know which characters are gonna need these, but if I have them, it'll be nice when I need them. Because I have them. This is the boring stuff that I do before streams. 
but since I was literally eating beforehand, hard to come by. Well shut then, the fuck up. Amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. You sound literally insane. I hate this character with a passion. People like him, and I don't understand why. Like, why people like this guy. Stabilize. You've made some progress. You made some progress. <laughs> it's the fucking whale. I will have order. Did I just do fourteen thousand damage with that, or did I just read the number wrong? Not bad, not bad. Shut up. Fuck. Fuck. Passable efforts. Passable efforts. You've made some progress. Shut up. Not bad. I don't like you. You've got a trick or two. Delusion unleashed. The fact that they use delusions, even though it, like, you know, drains their vitality, is just like, why? He has a delusion and a vision. He's cheating. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Solidify. You not. How does this man have a vision in the first place? I question that. Okay, how does this guy have a vision? Because, you know, like, visions are given to typically, like, heroes of life and heroes of Tavat with, like, I don't know. I thought so, anyway. How does this man have a vision? I'm gonna look that up actually after this fight. We're gonna look up why he has a division. A division? Yes. Mm hmm. He moved! Okay. Faster. Back at ya! And then the cutscene. Your strength is praiseworthy. I too shall use all of mine. So. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I have to hold it, not tap it. Oh shit. Whale. You know, that should be his ultimate, like, ability, the fucking whale. <laughs> I don't actually know what his ultimate ability is in the game. I don't think it's the whale, though. But that should, that would be, that should be his ultimate ability. Cause it, no thanks. I've fought you how many times now and you still haven't killed me? Weak. Sure, we're probably gonna end up fighting the Tsuritsa at the end of this game. You know, when we get to Chesnaya. Because the fact that we have four out of like seven things already like released, it's like, god dang. Oh, god damn it. Well, that should be his ultimate. That would be a really cool ultimate. Get fucked. Yeah, and you suck. There's another one. What the hell? Oh, for you. Oh, her friendship. Ooh. Hmm. Is her friendship all the way up? Good to know. I always change this every time I get a new one. Look at that. We have Yen Phase now. Oh my god, there's so many. I guess there's one for every character. Right? Probably. Um. So we have... 24 left over currently. Um, we can go up to quests now. That's the Baishu one. We were doing Ayato's before my internet crashed last time, so let's go do that. So let's go finish Ayato, then we can do, go do Baishu, and then we can get on with like the actual other quests that aren't story quests. Oh, I'm so used to- Oh, I should show you guys. Now my camera works. I got a new headset. It's literally the same exact one. So you know how I- I broke my headset, right? It's still here. It still works. But, you know, the thing right here came off and it snapped right here, so it's duct tape. I bought the exact same back, headset. Always ready. The exact same one. Like, if you look at it, the exact same but um the bluetooth on my old one was buggy so i didn't use it all that much uh but this one the bluetooth is just fine as you can see there's no wire crossing in front of my chest i'm so used to it being there but yeah also i don't know if anyone questions this or knows this because i have said it a few times when i play genshin i don't usually have a face cam because of cutscenes. Am I going the right way even? I absolutely not. I'm not going the right way. Right, this is not familiar to me. But while the dialogue goes on, I can finish eating my food because it's sitting here. On the desk, I haven't finished eating. Cause I had my mom made enchiladas, and I we each got two enchiladas. I ate one of them. I still have another one sitting on my plate. It's probably a little cold now, but that's fine. All right then. 
Please excuse me. I'll lead you to it from here. Okay. Thanks, Ibe. I apologize that your impromptu visit comes at a busy time for us, Commissioner. Otherwise, you can be sure that we would have prepared a more extravagant reception. I don't mean to impose, Sir Fujo. In fact, I'm not here on official business at all. I heard the good news about yourself and Lady Hiragi. What a glorious marital alliance this shall be. Given the close ties between our clans, it seemed only right that I should come and offer the Kamisato clan's congratulations in person. Oh, I'm truly honored. I hope the news didn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey there! We came to congratulate you as well! Since the incident with the Takatsukasa clan, things in the Tenryo Commission have slowly started to stabilize. I'm still acclimating to the position of acting head of the clan. I just hope I'm up to the task, so I can live up to everyone's expectations. You're far too modest. The public thinks very highly of you. They say you're hardworking, upright, and responsible. Uh, I'm flattered, but I wouldn't have achieved anything without the support of my people. Thanks to them, everything is gradually stabilizing. And I finally had the chance to focus a little on my personal life. <laughs> You're certainly making big progress in that department. <laughs> Come on now. You're embarrassing me. Uh, pardon me, I... Um... It's perfectly all right. Please, continue. I'm quite content to listen. It's a joyous occasion. Lighthearted is exactly how things should be. Really, who stays stony-faced when talking about a wedding? You're right. But I am curious to know, what's your honest opinion on the whole thing? Do you think it's... too sudden? <laughs> of course not. Where there is true love, nothing should be allowed to stand in its way. No doubt people will offer you a... Uh, colorful variety of opinions. But of course... You will have factored this into your decision, and I'm sure you are prepared for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Indeed I am. So, please be confident. When your mind is made up, you ought not be worried about things for which you are already well prepared. Nevertheless, there is just one small aspect of this that puzzles me a little. Please, go ahead. You've been working hard to bring the Tenryo Commission in line. This is positive, and no doubt the beginning of important change. But on the other side of this equation, Lady Hiragi's father, Hiragi Shinsuke, is still in prison. If you choose now, of all moments, to announce a marriage between the Hiragi and Kujo clans, the kinds of rumors that may begin to spread both among the general public and in the Kanjo Commission are not likely to be in either of your best interests. Yeah. Couldn't have put it better myself, Sir Kamisato. This has been my biggest concern for quite a while now. Hiragi Shinsuke is firmly against me having any contact at all with Chisato. In the past, we've always had to communicate in secret by sending letters. So although now may not look like the best timing for this marriage, it may well be the only opportunity we have. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he acts like this sweet old man, but he was determined to make as much trouble for us as possible. Oh, he is the worst. I can see where you're coming from. But you're only postponing the problem, not solving it. You will still have to face it sooner or later. <sighs> yes, I'm well aware of that. But since Chisato had the courage to ask me to marry her in spite of everything, how can I disappoint her? Well, sort of. She raised the idea in a letter, and after some initial hesitation, I went to meet her and have a serious conversation about our future. It's funny, actually, because when I formally proposed to her in person, she denied having ever written that letter. Ah, so coy. Huh? Really? She didn't say. She just acted confused by the whole thing. She really committed to it. I'll never forget the look on her face. Oh. Anyway, as her boyfriend, I knew she was just pretending, so I played along and said, Ah, I was only joking about the letter, and then I proposed. After making some disgruntled noises about me making a stupid joke, she blushed and said yes. 
We spent that afternoon working through all the details of the wedding. Okay. So you discussed it and decided on a date? We did. I guess it was a chance to finally express our commitment to one another, clearly and completely. She acted like there was no letter, but I'm thinking that part was a lie, that she didn't actually write the letter, and that he doesn't realize that she wasn't lying about that. Just, just saying that. And you know what? I think it was about time. No matter what happens next, I will always be there for her as the Why one is person he shiny? she will always rely on. Oh, give me a break. Time I'm so over it. But why not go on to say this the whole time? Is it just this dude or does everyone in love act like this? He just won't stop talking. Uh. Apologies, my friends. And also to Sir Kamisato. I must sound like a fool. Far from it. On the contrary, seeing you so positively smitten puts my mind at rest. No surer evidence could there be of your true feelings and your commitment. If I had any reservations before, I certainly don't now. I wish you a joyous wedding when the day comes. Yeah, even if it's kind of irritating to see you all smug like this, it's still a happy occasion. Good luck on the day, and have a happy wedding! Thank you all. It means a lot. We have some other business to attend to now. Until next time. Very well. I'll see you out. More than it was probably about the fucking letter. He seems busy. That must be true for anyone about to get married, right? It's a happy kind of busy, though. You're right. Kujo Kamaji is on cloud nine. What do you think, traveler? He chalked it up to her being coy, but that doesn't sound like the Hiragi Chisato I know. It bothers me also. But, unfortunately, attempting to seek the truth of the matter would likely be fruitless. Yeah, how come? Whenever we come across stuff like this on our adventures, we always find a way to get to the bottom of it. I see. So that's how adventurers think. In my opinion, we face two obstacles in this case. Firstly, we have very little information to go on, and I must be cautious about taking a stance. This makes it difficult to investigate. Secondly, and more importantly, the person involved doesn't seem to care. If we intervene without his blessing, good intentions may lead to catastrophic results. You do have a point. Kamaji doesn't seem worried at all. Everything in the world is intertwined. What looks like a simple outcome is often the result of multiple conflating reasons. Seeking the full truth would be a long and laborious process. It would be inefficient. Sort of. I have to take this approach, or the work of the Yashiro Commissioner would never be done. My opinion is something like this. When something strange happens, instead of trying to find out what could have caused it, it is better to look at the situation itself. If the outcome is positive, and no one was deceived or harmed in the process, then it is acceptable. We don't know yet. After all, we don't know what Hiragi Chisato's thoughts are, do we? I have to say, I'm impressed by your ability to zero in on the issue from such a short meeting. Most insightful of you. You are thorough and thoughtful, just as my sister describes. Chisato and Kamaji have already talked everything through, haven't they? Only if we are to take Kujo Kamaji at his word. But there are two sides to every story. I wish to know Hiragi Chisato's angle on this. Huh. Makes sense, but Paimon still doesn't quite get it. Don't worry about it. I was planning to visit the Hiragi clan to deliver my best wishes anyway. Let's take the opportunity to hear her thoughts. If she's as committed as Kujo Kamaji, perhaps they can navigate the challenges ahead successfully. But if not... Well, 
life isn't always a smooth journey. Still much to prepare for the wedding. Hmm. Should we also invite some prominent business leaders who frequently visit Rito? Hmm. At the very least, we should send an invitation. I agree. Ah, hello there, Yoshiro Commissioner. To what do we owe the honor on this fine day? As it happens, I'm here regarding the same wedding I believe I heard you discussing just now. I come bearing the felicitations of the Kamisato clan. Would Lady Hiragi happen to be available at this moment? All ladies entertaining guests right now, and we're not entirely sure how long she will be. But please, do come in. We will arrange some tea and snacks for you and your attendants. You misunderstand. These two are dear friends. <laughs> You're too kind. We don't wish to impose. We'll just wander around in the general area. Apologies for the interruption while you're busy with preparations. Please, let us know once Lady Hiragi is available. Nonsense, Commissioner. No imposition at all. This wedding is a joyful occasion. And all the other clans who serve the Huragi clan are most delighted for them indeed. We're merely doing the best we can to make this wedding as grand an affair as possible. When the time comes, we'll invite everyone in the clan and even the general public to attend. That sounds splendid. We'll leave you to it. Take care, Commissioner! But you guys talked a lot without actually saying anything. Hence why I dislike small talk. Our timing was not ideal, but never mind. I spotted a stall on our way over where we can pass the time. The owner always manages to come up with novel ideas. <laughs> I'm one of his regular customers. It's you. Good to see you again. Seems like you're always showing up with the VIP info. Oh? So you know the owner as well. Yep. We tried his dongle milk a while back with the almighty shogun and Inazuma City. Ah, I see. So you were involved in that. I'd caught wind of this dongle milk, but I didn't know that it had anything to do with you two. I always order one of his creative drinks whenever I pass the stall. The flavor is always new and interesting. When I noticed he'd set up shop in Rito, I simply had to come by. Oh, thanks to you all, my business is finally beginning to take off. More and more people are willing to give my creative cuisine a shot. It gave me the confidence to decide that I'm going to stick to creative cuisine from now on. On the one hand, I wanted more people to be able to try out my culinary creations. On the other hand, I wanted my customers to experience the joy of being creative, too. So I gave it a lot of thought and finally came up with an all-new business concept. Sounds interesting. What is it this time? I've decided to give complete creative control to the customer. I offer all sorts of ingredients, and they pick and choose whatever they want to mix with their milk or tea. As well as dango, I now offer rice cake, purple potato balls, black sugar, and sunsetia. Imagine, but who knows? It could be delicious. What if I were to choose some ingredients you don't have here? Would that be okay? Uh, 
Well, I, I guess so. Any novel ideas you have, Commissioner, please feel free to tell me. I'll go buy the ingredients right away. Well, the whole idea was to let my customers express their creativity freely. So, of course, I shouldn't place restrictions on the ingredients if I could help it. <laughs> Excellent. There are a few things I'd like to try. Lavender melon, seagrass, and sea ganoderma. Uh, what? You want to mix those with milk? I do indeed. Why? What's wrong? You really think that's going to turn out tasting good? It's all about the experience. The taste is secondary. It's great to try new things. Traveler, any thoughts? Sounds like a risky choice. Are you sure? Well, okay. Time I will have the same as you. Three milks with lavender melon, please. Huh, no problem. Give me a second. I'll have them ready in just a moment. Something happened. It stopped. My Genshin isn't isn't responding. Um. Um. Here, your milk oh, is go. ready. Give it a try. Hmm. Yep, just the time I suspected. Raw lavender melon does not taste good. I think it tastes all right. It makes me feel in touch with Mother Nature. Your review seems pretty positive, but Paima still thinks they're a better combination. Taste is your key concern, yes? Obviously. Tasty food and drinks are some of life's most important pursuits. Well said. If I could say the same was true for me, I believe I'd be a very content man. Yes. No one has unlimited energy, and I try to conserve mine for the things that really count. To create some mental breathing room, I try not to overthink the less critical matters. Having my sister attend public events in my stead and having Toma as housekeeper has also been a great help and allowed me to focus. Random fact in the time here, though, right? Is there anything else to think about than what we're doing right now? One or two things. Let's continue this discussion somewhere else. I noticed something before we left the Hiragi clan's residence. No, it was just a small detail. I was curious to know their thoughts on the wedding, so I asked them about it. Naturally, they responded that all other clans are happy for the Hiragi clan. But... That's not the truth. What do you mean? Hiragi Shinsuke is still in prison, meaning the Kanjo Commission is the least stable in the Tri Commission. Hiragi Chisato is the sole remaining pillar of her clan, but now she plans to marry into the Kujo clan. If I belonged to one of the assisting clans to the Hiragi, I would not be feeling optimistic about the future. But they didn't mention a word about that. They simply said they were delighted for them. These are not unintelligent people. I highly doubt it is because they simply do not realize. I imagine they didn't want to discuss family issues in front of outsiders. But still, the more I think back over that conversation, the more it doesn't sit right. Keep a close eye on them, Hisashi. Yes, sir. What the fuck? This is one of my most trusted members of the Shimatsu Bond. He's been quietly watching out for us this whole time. Fucking ninja. I'm really doing my duty, sir. Fucking Keep ninja. A close watch on the clan representatives we met today. Well received. I'm on the case. Oh, and I almost forgot. That milk I just had? Please order one more and deliver it to Toma. As you wish, sir. Eh. Sir Kamisato, 
Lady Hiragi's previous engagement is now concluded. She's waiting for you in the courtyard. Thank you kindly. Let's go and see Hiragi Chisato. I heard that Sir Kamisato had brought some guests, but I didn't know it was you two. It's been a while, Lady Hiragi. How have you been faring? This is a rare privilege, Sir Kamisato. It is not often that I have the chance to meet you, let alone here in the comfort of my own home. I'm doing very well indeed, thank you. You must be so busy. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and congratulate Kamaji and I. It really means a lot. But of course. The Tri-Commission are the servants of the Shogun, and we should look out for one another. In fact, we visited Sir Kujo just now. It's clear that he's very much looking forward to the wedding. Perhaps his joy is infectious, for I am now feeling rather elated myself. I sincerely wish you a joyful wedding and a blissful marriage. <sighs> Thank you for your kind words. <clears throat> this was not an easy decision to make. We will both have to work harder from now on. I'm sure the news will cause something of a stir. But come what may, we will stand as one and face whatever the future throws at us, together. Sounds like things are pretty tough for you, Chisato. Yes. Um, to be honest, I'm still a little nervous about it all. But Kamaji has been so supportive. His promises have comforted me a lot. It sounds like you have some considerable reservations, Lady Hiragi. Yes. Well, there are so many things I need to consider. In case you were wondering, I was not actually entertaining VIPs just now. I was in fact meeting with one of the Kanjo Commission's officers, Shinojo. Oh, really? Him? Mm-hmm. He charged in all of a sudden and said that he had something very important to tell me. He didn't mince his words. Basically, he doesn't want me to marry Kamachi. He has always been a calm and contained person who never acts out of line. I was quite shocked to see him so agitated. But despite all that, what he was saying made a lot of sense. He thinks that now is a bad time for this wedding to happen. He pointed out that I am like the final pillar propping up my clan. If I marry into the Kujo clan, that pillar is taken away. There will no longer be a voice of authority in the Hiragi clan. And it could be a disastrous move for my personal image, too. It's just two families becoming one big family, though, right? What's the big deal? Traditionally, in Inazuma, clan affiliation influences every facet of life. After the wedding, Lady Hiragi will belong to the Kujo clan. The Kanjo Commission's attitude toward you may undergo some significant changes thereafter. Precisely. This is a terrible thing to be saying, but... I'm starting to have second thoughts. Maybe I went along with it all too easily. Maybe I allowed myself to be pushed into this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I'm making my guests listen to me complaining. No problem at all. The Ashiro Commission has a duty to listen to you. Now that I've heard your concerns, I should offer to help you as best I can. For instance, by helping you gather your thoughts on the matter. Now... We heard from Sir Kujo that his decision to tie the knot was prompted by a letter he received from you. But we've also heard that you did not write that letter. Sir Kujo thought that perhaps you were just being coy. Oh, dear. Perhaps I should have kept that part for myself. What? 
But that was... <sighs> it was just a prop in this playful proposal, wasn't it? It was clearly purpose designed, what with all the fancy lettering and so on. Fancy lettering, you say? So I am to understand that had it not been for this letter, you two may not have chosen this moment to be wed? When it comes down to it... Yes, I think so. Oh, do you mean to say that this letter is not what I thought it to be? Sir Cujo maintains that the letter was penned by your hand. Huh? But then... How did... Either way, it's wonderful to see how much you both trust one another. In that sense, you could say that the origin of the letter is ultimately not of great importance. Who knows? Perhaps Sir Cujo was the one being coy. After all, he had no particular reason to be forthcoming with us about the details of his playful proposal. Hmm. I understand. <laughs> As you say, ultimately, the origin of the letter doesn't matter. But my position does matter. <sighs> Kamaji and I thought that we needn't worry about anything that lies ahead, because we can face it all together. But now, I... I think I should give it some more thought. Marriage is the most important decision of your life. Don't let yourself regret it. It is also part of the Yashiro Commission's job to help people through difficult times. I say this as an advocate for you personally, and for the Hiragi clan. Please, do not be compelled by circumstances to make any decision that goes against your will. To be together with the one you love is a sacred thing. It is my earnest wish that both of you may enjoy a bright and beautiful future, not a bittersweet one. I'll take to heart every word you have said to me. <sighs> I can't thank you enough, Sir Kamisato. I'll think very carefully about your advice. All that matters is that you follow your heart. <sighs> Since you'll be needing some time to think things over, we will excuse ourselves now. Oh, wait. Let me see you out. Thank you, Lady Hiragi, but there will be no need. Traveler, let's find somewhere to talk. Wow, well, she... So, she really didn't write the letter. So, someone wrote this letter prompting the two to get married and so now and now that um chisato is like thinking about it she's like questioning if she wants to get married yet and it's just like it's like god damn Hiragi Chisato is on a totally different page than Kujo Kamiji. Ayato, why did you give her such vague suggestions? Couldn't you just have told her what you'd do in her position? Cause that I'm pretty sure you have an idea. I've said everything I can, given the Yashiro Commission's stance. Interfering too much with other commissions' domestic issues will only create trouble. And the more I think about it, the stranger this all seems. But Hiragi Chisato has yet to see it. We must be vigilant. Strange? In what way? Someone wants Hiragi Chisato to be married as soon as possible. And if my guess is right, it is someone from within the Kanto Commission. This person is presumably also responsible for the mysterious and misleading letter. Think about this. A lowly officer is greatly worried about Hiragi Chisato's future while the heads of the supporting clans ostensibly have no concern at all. It doesn't add up. When someone's words and actions do not match, you need to infer their intentions from their behavior. Yes, it's a smart strategy. 
far superior to the one adopted by the Tenryo Commission's Takatsukasa clan. Even had the forged letter failed and been seen for what it was, there would have been no repercussions. They could simply have explained it away as a misguided but well-meaning matchmaking attempt by a member of the family. But if the letter were to achieve its goal, as it has so far, the perpetrator would successfully weaken the Hiragi clan without ever having to lift a finger against them, all under the guise of simply encouraging a wedding. With Hiragi Chisato having married into the Kujo clan and the head of the Hiragi clan in prison, challenges to the Hiragi clan's leadership would begin to emerge throughout the ranks of the Kanjo Commission. Eventually, another clan would take the Hiragi clan's place. Actually, we have evidence. His name is Shinojo. Shinojo? Hmm. He should be back by now. Yes, sir. <gasps> That's the second time you've done that. Paimon's gonna have to deal with this. Did they take one of the Kanjo Commission officers away? Yes. His name is Shinojo. As I expected. They cannot afford to let this opportunity pass them by. They have to act now while the Hiragi clan is at its weakest. It's Genshin going, it's, um, someone is plotting to take over the Hiragi clan's place in, in Inazuma by prompting Chisato, the only head of the clan currently, to get married into another clan, so therefore weakening the Hiragi clan. Kind of confusing. I'm not completely following. I understand most of what's going on, but like, not completely. But Ayato is like, this guy, Shinojo, or whatever the fuck his name is, is like, he's our evidence of the, 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 like, someone trying to take the Haragi clan's place. And a ninja just appeared out of fucking nowhere to confirm that for Ayato, and it's just like, mm hmm. Hiragi Chisato had been persuaded by Kujo Kamaji, and the wedding was sure to go ahead. But, after Chisato's meeting with Shinojo, she began to have second thoughts. In their eyes, Officer Shinojo has interfered with their plan. But why did they suspect him and not us? Someone was eavesdropping on our conversation with Chisato the entire time. That's why I was a little reserved. <gasps> no way! Lucky Paimon didn't say anything stupid. <sighs> but Chisato got what you meant about the letter, though, right? I think so. But whoever is behind this will not allow their plan to fail now. They will not be inclined to respect Hiragi Chisato's own wishes. Her stance was so passive that she was easily manipulated. Treated like a pawn with even her marriage becoming a battleground for political power play. Despite all of this... She still believed that a happy future was awaiting her. When she formally marries into the Kujo clan, she will lose her title as daughter of the Hiragi clan, her position in the Kanjo commission, and above all, her independence. Huh. Marriage is such a trap. Easier said than done. The perpetrators are manipulating everything from the shadows, letting unsuspecting pawns do their work. This is what makes their approach so smart. We, meanwhile, are out in the open. If we attempt to stop this wedding from happening, we will become the villains of the story and face immense public backlash.
I thought my mic was on that whole time. What the fuck? This is what. I hate myself. I hate myself so much right now. Okay. Cause like, cause like, cause like, I mute myself during these dialogue scenes. I thought I pushed the unmute button and I didn't. I'm so. So no. I guess that means that no one, no one heard me talking about how I embarrassed myself just early. Because I see, okay, I'll just repeat exactly what I said. Muted. Yeah. Um. There's a whole clip somewhere on my Twitch of me, um, getting excited during, like, a wish, like, a poll on Genshin, and, like, you just see the face cam of me freaking out, but since I was muted the whole time, you don't hear anything. There's a whole clip of that somewhere. I actually, I can go find it. But I embarrassed myself just barely, I guess to myself, and now that I'm admitting it, it's making it public, but... Uh, I see the little chat notification before the actual sound alert goes off. So I see every time someone, like, raised me or whatever. But when Phoenix raided me, the, sca the sound alert still scared the shit out of me. And so I embarrassed myself. Where is the goddamn thing? No, I went too far. Clips? Um, oh, it's right there. I'm blind. Share link to clip. Copy. That worked. Okay. I was like, that. there's the, there's the clip of me being muted and being excited. There's so many clips in here. Jesus. Of uh, just my channel. I think I've made, like, most of them. Actually, no. I probably made about half. Ow, my elbow. I think I, like, twisted my elbow or something, because it's been hurting for the past few days. And now it feels like there's a needle in my hand. Fuck. How was your guys' stream? How did ARC go? How was the ARCs? Over the sun. My hand hurts. Is there something in my hand? You know that feeling when you have, like, a sticker or something? I guess not everyone calls them stickers. Like, or like a needle or something. I was looking up the name. Oh gosh. What happened? What the fuck? Where's my- I don't have a lamp- I don't have my lamp plugged in. Fuck. Where's- oh, I can use my phone flashlight. That's what my phone's doing. Do I have a needle or something? Like a cactus needle in my hand. Because it feels like I do. No, I don't see anything. God damn it. <laughs> oh, my elbow. What the hell? Uh, but I have to get ready for tomorrow. I hide in the shadows. All right, Phoenix. Have fun with the, the lurks and the getting ready for work. Uh, we went to get our first egg and she got eaten and we found her in 85 for a starter. Ooh. 85 with your settings. Can't do math. That's like just over like half, isn't it? Because half would be seventy-five. Eighty-five for a starter is pretty good. I would say. Anyway, if I doubled that for my settings, it'd be like one seventy. Yeah, that's a good starter. I would think. Ow! Fucking elbow and my ow! I'm in pain. Okay. Ow. Everything hurts. Okay, going on vacation, like, fucked with my body. I don't know what happened. Yeah. She put the fire, there's also poison, so I grabbed it. Ooh. Fire is my favorite. A lot of, I know a lot of people's favorite is the lightning wyvern, but my favorite is the fire. Um. Out of, like, all of the wyverns. Out of the ones I've had, anyway. I mean, I, there's the crystal the crystal wyverns they're all right and i've never tamed the tech one what is it called the void worm i think 
Uh, the poison wyverns look cool, but they're really only useful for PvP. Since... At least that's what I think people say. I don't know. Hi, Fire. I feel a bit beefier, but the lightning seemed to hit more. Yeah, I mean, I don't have much experience with wyverns. So I wouldn't know. But I know a lot of people prefer um, lightning. What the fuck? Just came off of my hand. I'm like scratching at my hand because it feels like there's a needle in my hand. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, if your off is a gas mask, they aren't even useful. To you. That is true. Poison wyverns are just meh. They look cool though. I will say they look cool. Uh, so what are we gonna do? At this stage, if the perpetrators wish to maintain control over the situation, their only option is to come out from the shadows and bear their fangs. I will wait for that moment to arrive. He speaks so, like, professionally. It's like... <laughs> like... Love this. Um... Come from the shadows and bear their fangs. He sounds like a fucking, um... Like a protagonist in, like, a... Medieval times... Medieval times? I don't know. It, he sounds like fancy. Um, but my what was I? Gonna, uh, what was I saying? I was gonna say something before I cut myself off. Oh, I think the enemy is the Fatui because when is it not the fucking Fatui? I'm pretty sure every single fucking enemy and all these like story quests have been the fucking Fatui. I'm googling that while this audio keeps going. First things first. We must go and rescue Shinojo. He has done nothing wrong and does not deserve to be punished. Tell me where Shinojo is. We'll head off right now. God damn it, I'm trying to Google shit. I can't type for God. Okay. Oh, I'm not watching that. Shinoju. Is Shinoju the like I have to know fucking Is he the guy that had a thing for Hiragi and then he was really sad about them getting married and he was did did like a sketchy thing and went and was like, Hey, you should not get married. I don't remember. He might have been. Who fucking knows what the hell? God I need to explore it in Zuma soon. I gotta explore Liwa first, and then we can explore Inazuma. <laughs> the situation inside the cave. Pretty cave. Oh, he's in the cave. What are you doing? Release Shinojo this instant! Stop this at once. It's the Yashiro Commissioner. <sighs> well, we take orders from our master. No one else. Really? Then please. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, we're fighting! <laughs> okay, this is the moment where you get to fight with him. He has a fancy looking sword! Testing. Okay. Okay, how does his abilities work? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, is that just- Okay, that's just what the ability enabled. And then he just like that is funny looking. Be still. We. I want to use his ultimate. There we go. What does the ultimate do? Oh, it's rain and it damages them. Okay. Blast. Let's go. Ah, fuck you. 
No need to follow him. We need bait to catch the fish anyway. <laughs> Leave them be. That's not bait. I think I saw a key fall to the ground during the fight. Let's free Shinojo first. But in all the chaos, it must have been kicked to one side. Hmm. Where did it end up? Gotcha. It's a tanuki? Oh, don't tell Paimon that the tanuki took it. I forgot what a tanuki is. Is a tanuki the little bear looking mole things? Yeah, it's one of these guys. I don't really know what these are. They kind of look like bears, but they also kind of look like moles, but they also kind of look like weasels. I guess they're tanukis, that's what they are. Where the fuck did it go? Am I blind, y'all? What the fuck? Nah, no shit. Where the fuck did it go? Loving this music though. I don't think you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. Okay. So I don't know where the fuck this dude went. Ever since I had that one guy come in here and got get mad at me for swearing so much during a Stomatica stream, I'm just like, you know, I swear a lot, but still, I'm not gonna stop. Where the hell did this guy go? I'm not even. How the hell do you lose a fuck? <laughs> Or do I have it? Oh, thank the gods you're here. Please help me. No, I don't have it. What? I found him! Okay, well now he's in the box. Okay, I did it. <laughs> that took me way too long to find a fucking key. Thank you. Thank you. It was terrifying. They said they were going to throw the cage into the sea with me still inside. Oh, wait. Ow. You have to listen to me. Lady Chisato's wedding. They, it's all part of a scheme. Someone's trying to use the wedding for their own ends. I kind of figured that out already. Ow! Huh? Our suspicions were roused to this possibility, and so far, everything is unfolding rather as we expected. Those behind this plan are not going to give up easily. Their next move is imminent. We must devise sufficient countermeasures. Please duct tape. Yashiro Commissioner, you're personally going to take action? Where the fuck this is my duct tape? situation has consequences for the whole Tri Commission, and the Where's stability of all Inazuma is at stake. My hitherto neutral stance ends now. <sighs> the almighty shogun has always despised these pathetic power games. As a commissioner, I am a servant of the shogun, and it is therefore my duty to handle these tiresome matters on her behalf. Hmm, mm -hmm. that's true. Shinojo, don't return to your post yet. Find somewhere safe and stay hidden. Traveler, Paimon, let's get out of here putting tape on my hand because it feels like there's still a fucking needle in my fucking hand. Well, if it isn't the Yashiro Commissioner. I hear you showed up here with no explanation and attacked my men. 
You wouldn't happen to be carrying out some sort of secret mission, now would you? I heard that someone was taking the law into their own hands. As a responsible official of Inazuma, I could not in good conscience stand idly by. Shinojo may be your retainer, but the law does not grant you the right to abuse him. Abuse? Nonsense. I was just teaching him a lesson. Out of nowhere, a low-ranking officer decides to barge in on Lady Haragi and start spouting out the most absurd and insulting nonsense one can imagine. A truly egregious loss of decorum. I dare say, the poor lady was terrified. So, you're saying that you know absolutely nothing of the reasons for his actions? Because otherwise, why would you describe it as out of nowhere? Two people from two different clans are getting married. That's all there is to it. And yet this young gentleman took it upon himself to fabricate a nonsensical disaster story around it. How should I know what he was thinking? Even if she marries into the Kujo clan, Lady Horagi will always be the daughter of the Horagi clan and the most distinguished member of the Kanjo Commission. We are, and always will be, her loyal assistants. It's our duty to see that she never has to worry about anything. Loyalty and duty are our guiding principles. Not only did this guard show no regard for either, he went out of his way to upset our lady. How could one do such a thing? Even if we put it down to a rare moment of impulsivity. I have to say, I'm surprised to see one of such noble standing as yourself rush into his defense. Darn it! This guy is good. Annoyingly good. He's a slime ball. Funny. I think I got the needle you out of my face. suddenly reminded of an hand. anecdote I'd like to share with you. There's not been a dull moment since I took up my post in the Ashiro Commission. Every day I've been exposed to new and fascinating things. For instance, a merchant from abroad once told me about a curious kind of bird with the most extraordinarily long tongue. So long, in fact, that you can tie two knots in the portion of it that extends out of its beak. I'm sure someone as erudite as yourself could be able to guess what people do with these unusual aliens. Uh, keep them as pets. <laughs> You'd think, wouldn't you? Mm, but there's a catch. You see, this bird is of no use to humans whatsoever. It certainly doesn't make a suitable pet. If you catch one, the best thing you can do is actually cut its tongue off and throw it out of the window. The reason they give is this. The longest tongue has the most to say. But don't be deceived as it chirps away. Lest the song it sings lead you astray. You... I say, Yashiro Commissioner. Are you here simply to mock the Kanjo Commission? No, just to mock you. Far from it. In my mind, the Kanjo Commission is made up of honorable individuals. Upright and forthright. Conscientious and loyal. It is unbecoming of such people to resort to lies, deception, and filibustering. All as part of a plan to remove Lady Hiragi from her position in the Kanjo Commission. Yashiro Commissioner, please don't make accusations without any evidence. The evidence is standing right in front of me, is it not? I have a credible witness who can confirm you were quick to try and make him disappear as soon as he said something that you did not like. Dear me, I can't believe the Grand Matsura clan is now represented by someone with less of a sense of loyalty than even an ordinary servant. You studied hard and took a government position, only to make it to where you are now just to play the heady power games behind the scenes. I'm not sure whether it's because you're smart enough to play the system, or too foolish to know any better. In your years of service to the Shogun, not only have you managed to glean nothing good from the people around you, you have also let yourself be blinded by self-interest. And now you have ruined your once bright future. I'm not angry, Mr. Matsura. I just was sorry for you. <laughs> Is that right? Then tell me, if you're so bright, what exactly do you think you can do to me? This is at most a Kanjo Commission issue. We'll handle this amongst ourselves. 
You are reaching rather outside of your bounds, Yashiro Commissioner. If you seek to involve yourself in other clans' affairs, might I be so bold, then, as to question your motives in doing so? I think you are simply opposed to an alliance between the Kanjo Commission and Tinryo Commission, because the new balance of power in the Tri Commission would be a threat to you personally. So you come here with an elaborate excuse to try and break up this marriage. Hmm. <laughs> so, that's how you view it. Well, I have to admit, you clearly are far more talented than I at monitoring the power balance within the Tri Commission. Let me be crystal clear. This wedding is going to happen, and nothing is going to change that. The notices have already been sent out. All of Inazuma City knows about it now. Most of the public weren't aware that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato were courting. But you can bet it's all anybody's talking about now. Once the notices go out, that's it. The wedding is a sure thing, even if it hasn't happened just yet. Hmm. I see. It seems like I was wrong. <laughs> so suddenly we see eye to eye. I had expected you to at least be smarter than most. Uh, but it seems that I was gravely mistaken. Come, Sato Ayato! You! How dare you! You've made your move. Now, I suppose it's time I made mine. What do you mean? Do you seriously think this marriage will bring the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission together? Isn't it at all possible that the Kanjo Commission becomes marginalized as a consequence of this union? Hmm? Goodness me. Well, I've learned a great deal from talking to you. That will be all for now. If you would excuse me, I shall take my leave. Me neither. They had their schemes, but fortunately I was prepared. As I said, they ended up coming out from the shadows and revealing themselves. Let's see how things are in Inazuma City. Then, I'll take you through the details of my plan. Huh? I was supposed to be cutting like a cutscene or something, so I had like prepared for that. But no. Is there loot here? Well... daughter of the Kanjo Commission's Hiragi clan, and the master of the Tenryo Commission's Kujo clan, are getting married. <laughs> Sounds like an all-around perfect match, don't you think? For sure. I'm just surprised. It seems very sudden. I hadn't heard a single word about it until now. Good luck to them, I say. I'm sure it must have been a hard decision. I know that voice. Of the dude. Like the wedding is definitely going ahead. Hold on. It's Give me still one. too early to make that conclusion. Give Our me one second. He wants to push this marriage past the point of no return. However, we can still beat them at their own game. But only if Kujo Kamaji is willing to help us. I know about I'm voice it. actor. I'm always ready. For the dude that just spoke. How the hell do you find out a voice actor for a ma minor character? Um, you don't. <laughs> the hell? Location, profile, personality, appearance, cast and events, auto quotes, dialogue. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Gallery. 
strange history comments. Ah, cold beer after a hard day's work. Okay, well, I guess I don't know who his voice actor. I know his voice actor though. I'm assuming it's someone from My Hero. I think it's the guy who plays, why can't I think of his name right now? Ojiro. The guy who plays Ojiro, that's it, it's him. It's that guy. The guy who plays the, like I'm think I'm talking English voice actors because I watch anime in English. Um, but the guy who plays Ojiro is the same guy that played that dude. I recognize that voice. Welcome. I just heard that the news of my wedding has been officially announced. It seems so sudden. I wasn't ready yet. Yeah, about that. Um, it's kind of complicated. I see. So someone's trying to take advantage of our marriage. If you proceed with the wedding, the repercussions for you are likely to be minimal. But we must take Lady Hiragi's situation into consideration. I've previously considered this possibility. But in the end, we're getting married for true love. And I've promised to her that I'll do everything in my power to protect her. I understand where you're coming from, but to be frank, she should not need your protection. Or, to put it another way, you have tacitly admitted that Lady Hiragi will need your help to get through the hard times ahead. Which perhaps suggests that, deep down, you realize all she stands to lose. I... I don't mean to criticize you. It is natural to want to protect our loved ones. You're an intelligent and gentle person, and I'm sure you would have been able to think about this more objectively were you not so emotionally involved in the situation. I'm sure you admire Lady Hiragi for being the independent, gentle, resilient, and strong-willed person she is. For the sake of marrying you, this wonderful woman will become someone who has to depend on you for the rest of her life. Are you really okay with that? Uh, I love her with all my heart and would do anything to make her happy. That's why I cannot abide to see her suffer or be manipulated by other people. Yashiro Commissioner, you're right. It was naive and selfish of me to take things this far. But it's too late now, isn't it? There are notices everywhere. I have a plan, but it needs a villain. Hmm. Sir Kujo, in order for my plan to work, you and I must both play the role of antagonists. But it is not without its risks. Are you willing to help? If there's a way to salvage this, then let's hear it. I've told the people at the Kanjo Commission that the marriage isn't going to unify the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> On the contrary, it's a terrible idea that will marginalize the Kanjo Commission. The context for this is that they are planning to use this marriage to bring down the Hiragi clan. And the key to their success is coming up against no resistance to the marriage from the Tenryo Commission. But what if we were to imagine for a moment that since the affairs of the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo Commission has been planning to make a move against the weakened Kanjo Commission. The only reason you have been hesitant to act since taking over the Tenryo Commission is because you care about Lady Hiragi's feelings. And so, your plan is to liaise with the Yashiro Commission to marry her and bring her out of the Kanjo Commission as soon as possible. Once that is achieved, as the person in charge of the Tenryo Commission, you no longer have any reason to hesitate. I see. This is an ingenious plan. It takes advantage of the situation perfectly. Exactly. Our purpose is to change Lady Hiragi's position from an unnecessary burden to an indispensable asset. By doing so, we can even strengthen her position in the Kanjo Commission. Once our adversaries realize how the network of connections behind the scenes really looks, they'll do their utmost to stop this wedding from happening. Then, we simply leave them to clear up the mess they've created. Got it. Complicated for Paimon. Can you just tell us what you need us to do? We 
have to make sure that the behind the scenes story comes to the attention of our dear friends in the Kanjo Commission. Matsura, with whom I spoke earlier, will now be fearing the worst. No doubt he'll be on the lookout for the first sign of a crisis. In that case, he will almost certainly have placed informants throughout Inazuma City. What we need to do is to use these informants as a breeding ground for our fake intel. Sir Kujo, there are certain things that I need you to attend to personally. It's almost time. My ninja has located one of the informants. Let's go and see if he'll take the bait. <laughs> ninja. The ninja. Ninjas are cool. I don't know why I'm walking. I could be running. Um. Ninja. What the hell is my microphone picking up on? I don't know, I just see it bounce up out of nowhere. Probably could have just like teleported to get here faster, but whatever. Whee! That person is one of Matsura's informants. Let's follow him. Be careful not to get seen. Oh god. Oh, I can crouch? Oh shit. Seems like you've noticed us. I'm gonna do that. Knew we should have been quieter. That person is one of my let's follow him. I didn't mean to do that. The mean crouching is so funny looking. Cause like her skirt's all like... I don't know, it looks funny. Did you see that? Sir Kujo Kamaji just came past here with a huge group of people. Could it be related to the wedding announcement? Hmm, maybe, but from the look on his face, it seems like something much more serious. He and his men seem pretty intense at the moment. Isn't it all a bit excessive for a wedding? The Tenryo Commission has sent a load of people to Rito. I guess it must have something to do with the wedding. I think in all there must have been about a hundred people so far. That doesn't sound good. What could be going on? Uh, I hope it's just Sir Kujo Kamaji being overcautious. The news is spreading fast. But it appears Master's fears may be well placed. There's no way they sent this many people just to escort the bride. I have to investigate. <laughs> As expected. Let's follow him. Oh. Wow. It's like the whole Tenryo Commission is here. Excuse me. Has something happened on this road? I'm a businessman passing through, and it's a little disconcerting to see this place so heavily guarded. Ah, please don't be alarmed. As I'm sure you've heard, the wedding of Sir Kujo Kamaji and Lady Hiragi Chisato will take place any day now. Sir Kujo decided to send for Lady Hiragi ahead of time, and have her live in Inazuma City during the run-up to the wedding. I see. We are here to clear the way for Lady Hiragi. 
Not just us, either. You'll see more Tenryo Commission members as you go further along. We're all here for the same duty. Uh, isn't this a little excessive? Sir Kujo holds Lady Hiragi in the highest regard, and wants to treat her with the utmost respect from beginning to end. I understand. Sorry to disturb your work. It's exactly as Master feared. They say they're here to guard the road, but really they're poised to attack if Master doesn't allow Lady Hiragi to leave Rito. Wait, no. If Lady Hiragi does leave, they'll have all the more reason to strike. But we're no state to defend against a Tenryo Commission attack. I must tell Master right away. Here I am again! No, he really is so serious to That should do it. The seeds have been sown. In this atmosphere, mounting suspicion will nurture fear among the Kangjo Commission. Now, we wait patiently for it to grow and ferment. The calm before the storm is always the part that unsettles people the most. Are we really gonna own up and apologize just like that? If you're curious to find out, you can visit the Hiragi clan in Rito in a couple of days. I have some other business to attend to, so I won't be spending any more time on this situation. In any case, we've made our move. It's only a matter of time before they give up and surrender. Why are you so confident? <laughs> this is not my first time. Well then, goodbye for now. I truly hope that things will work out in Hiragi Chisato's best interests. That's kind of abruptly. Are things really gonna turn out like he predicted? So worried about Hiragi. Let's go to Rito again in two days. Wait for two days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, literally on the teleport point. Okay. Talk to the people of Rito. These people from the Tenryo Commission have been here for days now. I guess they're here to pick up Lady Hiraki. But why would it be taking so long? I heard that the Kanjo Commission suddenly said they don't want Lady Hiraki to leave. To be honest, I'd be hesitant if I were her. A crowd this size comes to Rito? Who knows what they could be planning? Shh, stay quiet. Someone might hear you. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. Uh, how did things get to this point? How may I help? What are you doing? We arrived here two days ago to escort Lady Hiragi to Inazuma City. Sir Kujo Kamaji gave us very strict orders, so we have to obey. But every time we attempt to receive the bride, the Hiragi clan always finds an excuse to delay things. Since we haven't fulfilled our duties yet, we decided to stay in Rito until Lady Hiragi is ready to come with us. This doesn't even roll. We apologize. It was not our intention to stay here so long. We promise our presence here will not impact ordinary people's lives. We can only hope that the leaders of the Hiragi clan will start to cooperate soon. If this stalemate continues, who knows? Sir Kujo might give us orders to be less accommodating. <laughs> oh. 
How much longer does your master plan to hold them off? I have no idea. We're stuck in limbo here. Master's been very on edge these past few days. He gets irate over the smallest things and is suspicious of everything. He's been yelling at me a lot. I understand that he's anxious, but I mean, what can we do? I've told him before, never cross the Yashiro Commissioner. Yeah, good advice. With him, you just know that whatever he's doing, a lot of preparation has gone into it. If Lady Yuragi is really taken away, then what will the Tenryo Commission do? And what will the Yashiro Commission do? Uh, maybe we should tell Master to discuss things with Lady Uragi. Uragi Sasato is now at the center of every conversation in Rito. By now, the Kanjo Commission probably knows how important she is. But what about what she thinks? Traveler, I assume you've heard about everything that's been going on out there. What on earth is happening? Don't worry, we can explain everything. So, what happened was... She might be eavesdropping. After the Tenryo Commission arrived, they suddenly became alarmed. They keep having secretive discussions and won't allow me to have any direct contact with the Tenryo Commission. I never would have thought that... This was Sir Kamisato's plan. Hm. Now it all makes sense. Since the last I'm left. sorry. I haven't. Maybe there's no right or wrong decision. Maybe everything would be easier if I simply didn't have the choice. I used to tell myself things like this to avoid having to think about it. Ow, my back. But once I saw the notices appearing out of nowhere on the streets, signaling that the wedding was confirmed, I didn't feel reassured at all. Instead, I felt a great sense of regret. I keep thinking back to what Sir Kamisato said. This is supposed to be my bright and beautiful future. But what if it's not? Oh, you can't rush into important things. I can happily accept that if someone was trying to take advantage of my marriage, I should absolutely refuse to go through with it. But. That's not the answer I'm looking for. And also, now that things have escalated to this point, it will be tricky to resolve. Ah, oh, Lady Huragi, here you are. You scared me for a second. I thought you'd gone missing. Phew. You. Wait, you're the ones who were with the Yashiro Commissioner that day. What do you think you're doing here? Are you trying to convince Lady Huragi to leave? Calm down. They're my friends. They're just here to visit me. Friends? Are you sure? Just friends? Lady Hiragi, I've told you already. These are exceptional circumstances. You need to be more vigilant in everything you do. You are extremely important to us and to the entire Kanjo Commission. Who's to say they don't have a hidden agenda? If you want to accuse us of trying to abduct her, just come out and say it! You far less dignified than when we last met. Don't be rude. You've been very highly strung lately, seeing everything as a threat. I... <clears throat> Can we just know? Hmm? Listen to me. I know all the ins and outs of everything that's happened so far. Her arrival might well be your very last chance to fix this. The present state of affairs in Rito shows me that the situation has escalated well past the point where you could hope to control it. If this deadlock continues any longer, we will have nothing to gain and much to lose. This is not an order. All I need you to do is give me an explanation and take responsibility for the situation. <clears throat> Understood, my lady. I shall discuss with the others right away. so nervous but I thought things are now so critical that I should at least give it a try and it worked remarkably well voice of authority yes well let's wait and see what happens I hope they provide a satisfactory response 
between his legs. We had a serious discussion and reflected on our mistakes. In all honesty, no one can handle the weight of the situation here. Everyone is besides themselves with worry. It'll drive us mad if it continues any longer. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. My actions were radical and duplicitous. I was selfish and ignored the greater good. And then I left the situation to fester. Would you? Would you please give us a second chance? For my lady's sake, please give the Conjo Commission another chance. So no use talking to me. I suppose you're all right. The only person who can change the Tinryo Commission's mind will be the Yashiro Commissioner. We'll head off to the Kamisato Estate shortly and beseech him to help us with the utmost sincerity. Lady Huragi, might I ask you to join us? You are the most important person. Without you, we have no other way. Mistakes. Fuck you. That's what you get, bitch. Just trying to By the take way, advantage. Aren't you a good friend of the Yashiro Commissioner? Please put in some good words for me. No. I will not. I don't like you. The Yashiro Commissioner, I'm sure you've heard the news. The Tinryo Commission has now occupied Rito, refusing to leave until we hand Lady Hiragi over to them. I realize I have greatly offended you with my atrocious actions, and I realize also that this must sound like the very height of absurdity. But please, have mercy, good sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Matsura. I'm exceptionally busy and have but a moment to spare before my next engagement. I fear this leaves no time for small talk. So, please, if you would be so kind, get straight to the point. <clears throat> I know our apology means nothing to you, but we really have nothing else left to offer by this point. I'm terribly sorry. Everyone in the entire Conjo Commission now realizes the gravity of this situation. Lady Huragi is indispensable to us. We promise to always support her. So, would it be at all possible for you to talk to Sir Kujo once more, on our behalf? You make it sound so easy. The Tri-Commission will be ridiculed by the public if we choose to withdraw the notices now and eat our words. What do you plan to do about this? To lose face for the Tri-Commission is to bring shame to Her Excellency. Are you and your associates ready to face the thunderous wrath? ...of the almighty Shogun. We... ...will take full responsibility. We'll publish a new notice and hold a conference to explain the situation. We will make sure that the public knows this was all a huge misunderstanding. We'll do everything we can to minimize the impact. Everything we can. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Master Matsura. You should have known it would come to this. Whatever were you thinking? But the Tri-Commission must always put the interests of Inazuma first, regardless of what Sir Kujo and I may feel at this present moment. If the situation in Rito is left to fester any further, things may get out of control. But Lady Hiragi and the inhabitants of Rito are innocent. If we fail to contain the situation promptly, the rumor mill will wreak havoc on the Tri-Commission's reputation. Try keeping a pet bird. You'll see what I mean. Songbirds who know how to hold a tune can be very pleasant to listen to, but they can also become irritating if they don't know when to stop. And as for the ones with excessively long tongues, well, they're so insufferable that they can't be kept as pets at all. But it doesn't take a moment to cut out their tongues and silence them for good. Y yes I understand. I've listened to your concerns, and I'll talk to Sir Cujo for you. But I can't guarantee that he will change his mind. I understand. 
Thank you for your help, Yashiro Commissioner. All right, you ought to return now. I'm sure you have a sizable mess to deal with back in the Kanjo Commission. Okay, then please excuse me. Thank you once again, Commissioner. Ah, yes, Lady Hiragi. I have something to tell you. Would you mind? Oh? Uh, why, of course. Sakami Sato, you became a completely different person just now. It felt so intense. Unruly servants like him need to be severely reprimanded. As a commissioner, the Almighty Shogun trusts me to do her will. I did as I should. But now, I'd like to take off my commissioner hat and share a personal story with you. Oh, please. I'd love to hear it. You must have heard that the Kamisato clan once went through an extremely difficult period. My father worked incredibly hard to compensate for the grave errors made by the Kamisato clan long ago, and restore our reputation. The work took a toll on his health, and ultimately led to his untimely demise. My mother loved him dearly. She passed soon after. This sudden turn of events dealt a heavy blow to the Ashiro Commission. Behind the scenes, things became very unstable. Everyone thought that the Kamisato clan had lost power. That made my sister and me nothing but burdens hindering the ambitions of others. It may sound preposterous now, but I assure you that is the truth of what the Yashiro Commission has been through. Huh. Pretty similar to how the Kanjo Commission is now. Back then, I had no choice but to accept the position I was in. While I desperately looked around for powerful supporters, I endured smear campaigns and attempts to exploit me. I had no other choice. I had to honor my parents' dying wishes, and I also had a young sister to take care of. I didn't mind what became of me, but my family. No one can ever be allowed to trample over my precious family. Fortunately, I persisted, and the Kamisato clan was able to survive the storm. I think I now know where my sense of loss and confusion was coming from. Shinojo once told me that he saw what was in me, in a way that no one else did. That's why he couldn't bear to see me live the rest of my life depending on someone else. I thought the reason I felt unsettled was because of uncertainty over getting married. But the fact is, it's because I felt too young and inexperienced to handle the situation facing me. The reason why Sir Kujo was able to face the prospect of marriage so confidently is because he's prepared for anything. That's it. The situation I'm facing now is the same one he faced back then. When his clan was in crisis, he bravely drew his blade and challenged the Almighty Shogun. And now, it is time for me to make a stand and become my own person. Well said. I'm sure once you have grown and gained confidence, your father will be able to let go and allow you to decide how you want to live the rest of your life. It might not sound exciting, but this kind of personal growth is a necessary step in the pursuit of true happiness. And I'm sure I can get there. I will use this as an opportunity to take over the responsibilities of the Hiragi clan. I'll think about marriage again after everything is more settled. This puts less pressure on Kamachi and means I can support and protect myself without having to worry about becoming a burden or dependent on someone else. My best wishes to both of you were and remain heartfelt. When the time comes for the wedding to go ahead, I will come to congratulate you once more. Thank you, Sir Kamisato. I am grateful for everything you have shared with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to deal with back home. Take care, Lady Hiragi. I'm confident that on your return, you will find your Kanjo Commission associates most receptive to your instruction. Yes. In fact, my recent experience suggests the same. Thank you once again. She really has the air of a leader now. Everyone thought there was no way out until 
thought you pulled that super smart strategy out of nowhere. In fact, counter-checking is a perfectly common maneuver in the game of chess. Our rival this time was easy to deal with. He was smart, but short-sighted, and sloppy in his execution. This outcome is entirely within my expectation. Even so, Paimon could never come up with a plan that cunning in a whole lifetime. Anyway, it's kind of a relief to see that Chisato has decided to set the Hiragi clan straight. I agree. Stability in Inazuma benefits me as well. I wasn't about to pass up an opportunity to make less trouble for myself. <laughs> well, the fact is that I am first and foremost the Yashiro Commissioner. Perhaps for Master Matsura, power is his life's pursuit. But for me, nothing matters more than the stability of Inazuma. A stable nation is the prerequisite for a stable Yashiro Commission. Only then can the Kamisato clan and the other Yashiro Commission clans have a peaceful existence. But human desire will always be a factor in the equation. This is not the first situation of its kind, nor will it be the last. All I have tried to do is make sure the three parties to the Tri-Commission serve to restrain each other. Stasis is not the only form of stability. A balance of power leaving no room for maneuver achieves the same end. Another positive outcome is that everyone recognizes how important Lady Hiragi is now. I think I did her a sizable favor in that regard. Dealing with the Hiragi clan will be much easier for her than navigating a new and unfamiliar one. <sighs> there were so many things at play over this one wedding! Uh, wait a second! You weren't trying to stop the wedding from the very beginning, were you? Hmm? I thought straight away it was bad timing. Nevertheless, everything I said to Hiragi Chisato was entirely sincere. If you choose to give up your stance on something once, you'll be having to compromise for the rest of your life. I didn't want to see her suffer because she didn't realize what she was getting into. Now, she has the chance to become her own person. Let's see who she becomes. Okay then, guess we'll have to wait and see. All right. Farewell. And profuse thanks to you both. I shall have to host you at the Kamisato estate when my sister is next available. Looks like everything's resolved. Masterfully done. Everything was perfect. Well, except for one minor detail. I somehow ended up with a glass of very peculiar tasting milk. Hmm. Didn't you like it? I distinctly remember you saying you are quite partial to exotic flavors. Oh! <laughs> uh, my lord? The Traveler had one of those as well. <sighs> I'm sure she's made a great impression on you. The Traveler did indeed play a critical role in this case. I'm sure both families would have been more guarded against me had she and her companion not been present. It wouldn't have been so easy to get to the heart of the matter. There you go again, my lord. Placing the focus on other people while discreetly performing your job to perfection. <laughs> Naturally. Ah, yes. Now that we're both free, let's finish off that game of chess we started a few days ago. No cutscene? Are you kidding me? There's no fucking cutscene? What the hell? All those times that I've been muted and switching to my cutscene thing. <laughs> what is this bullshit? Okay. Uh, because I don't feel like doing Baiju's thing right now, we're gonna do something else. And I know exactly what we're gonna do. I just need to get the stuff for it. Give me one moment. Uh, true. What are the fuck are they called? I don't remember what they're called. Eh, shit. I don't know what they're called. Oh, these. 
Electro Hulus map. I use the interactive map. I don't remember which one I've used. Oh shit. There's a certain website I use. Okay, this is the one. 181. I don't know how many I've collected. It's been a while. Um, an extra one left in their inventory. Oh dear god. Oh my, oh, I forgot there's multiple fucking islands. Okay. Shit. So let's do the island we're currently on. I think usually all of these stars mean that I've gotten them already. Seventeen. Oops. Right in front of the fox statue. I just want to double check because I know I'm stupid sometimes and I don't actually like collect the star. But there's a fox statue and it's supposed to be. Okay, if it was actually in front of the fox statue, it would have popped up on my map by now. So seventeen is collected. But that also means. I can delete that. Um, I don't really know where to start, to be honest. If I'm being entirely honest with myself. Okay, there's none on this island. There's one here, the one there, one like right here. Okay, let's see. The walls. Totally, there's one underground, and that's what that one is for. I assume I got it. So we're just going to teleport to this. If I see the thing pop up, then I didn't get it. If I don't see the thing pop up, then I did get it. Assume since it's not popping up. I've gotten it. I think when I go to Sumeru, I'm just not going to collect any of them. Actually, maybe I will and I'll just mark it and then I know that I, that all of them will be seen. So that I'm using that. Return to us. What does this boss even give us? Um, just these. That's the only intriguing thing that it gives. Who uses perpetual hearts? Um, perpetual heart. I'm assuming a character from Inuyuma. Probably. It's a character level up material, so it's one of the uh, ascension things. But for who? Two characters. Oh, yeah, I was right. Goru and Ayaka. Two Inazuman characters. Um. How many do I have? Don't tell me. Okay. Um. So that one's done. So we can. Oh, I wrote grabbed on it. Okay, so since I wrote grabbed, that probably means I've grabbed it. I'll just trust it. If I end up not getting all of them, then I will go back and rewatch the spot again. Okay, grabbed. Uh, where the fuck is that? Oh, there's two here. Oh no, okay, we'll, go, we'll look at that in a second. Um, there's one on this house. Did I grab it? It doesn't say grab. I'm assuming it's on top, like actually on top of the house. Above the building, climb from behind, then head to its side. 
Oh no, it's there still. We have not. Okay, it says climb from be from behind and then head to the side. What? I think. Oh, I see. So the way to get up here is to go like this. Okay, we're switching to a smaller character. God damn it. What the hell? Oh, they're talking about Lady Hiragi. There we go, jeez. Okay, now we've grabbed that one, which is this one. Okay, this says grabbed, which is this one here. There's one like on the fucking shrine. There's two on the shrine, okay, never mind. There's one here, says grabbed, obtained. There's this one. And something to look at. So we'll just like. Switch it to that. Okay. And there's this one here, which doesn't have a thing. This one, which says grabbed. This one, which says grabbed this one says grabbed and then two right here neither of them have names Oh, there's one all the way out here. Which also doesn't have a name. Okay. So the rest of these I have to manually go look at. Um. So we'll get this one first, which means we're gonna go up to the top of that. Um, so that we can go all the way over there. What's the thing? It's on the other side of this, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that scared me for a sec. Navigate. Oh, I haven't grabbed it. Okay. Good, 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 good. Or maybe not good. I don't know. Would that be a good thing or not? I don't know. It's all the way up there. How the hell? Climb tree. It says you're supposed to climb the tree. Next, oh, we're just gonna get the ones that are marked at the moment, and then I'll go in and.
put pins for the rest of them, and then we can go to the other islands. I guess I could get the ones off the island, like individual islands that say grab. Who the fuck is- oh Jesus. You know someone's big. Oh no, and this map is in a different language! How the fuck am I supposed to do this when I can't see the goddamn island? Where the hell is that? Oh, that looks fun. Okay. Then this island is the last one. What is this? Fruit thing. Very descriptive. They don't have names! Go check out the ones that are pinned. Go to that one first. God, there's so many on the fucking map. Jesus Christ. Ugh.
right back. <laughs> I didn't realize that my stream disconnected it. It disconnected when I was in the middle of taking off my um, pins. So, update from when it cut out randomly. Um, hold on, let me go change the name of the thing actually too. We're back. Um, ow, my knee. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If Twitch will load it. <laughs> Is he gonna get a restart on my computer or something? Cause it's being weird. Why the fuck is this on my live channels? We think you'll like, and it's some. You know, I'm not even gonna say what it is. What it is. I'm just. I don't know why it's there. I genuinely don't understand some of the channels Twitch recommends me. I mean, I know sometimes I accidentally leave Twitch on, and it, I just follow the raids until someone doesn't raid. But like, <laughs> what the fuck. What was I doing? Screen manager, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> trying to go back to we're back. Or what? That didn't even make sense. Um. Also, someone just like texted me randomly and said yes. At Two and a half hours ago. Like, like we had, we weren't talking earlier or anything. Last time we talked was. Did my thing just cut out randomly? Skipped frames. Why the fuck are you being weird? Streamlabs. Now the title's changed. Um. Okay, close that. Why the fuck is my everything being laggy as fuck? Um. Because I moved the map to my laptop so it wouldn't be laggy from that. Don't make me close Chrome, please, because then I have to reopen it when I go to end stream. Why am I using 97% of my CPU? What the hell? What is using up so much stuff? Okay, that shouldn't be open. That can close. Just like, okay, Genshin's using 36% for some reason. Stop skipping frames. Please, I beg. I beg. I don't know what I can close. Don't need that. I don't think I need that. Don't think I need that. Close, please. Okay. Um. Um. Riot can close. I don't know. That is why things have been. I don't know. We're down to 89, 90, okay. That did a little bit of work. 
Let's mess with the settings in my Genshin. Graphics. Okay. Um. What is V-Sync? What is V-Sync? That's something I should know. What is V-Sync? <laughs> Why am I in caps? Oh, there's an example. But it didn't tell me shit. It's like V-Sync on, V-Sync off. What the fuck is the difference? We'll just leave it on, I guess. I keep dropping frames. Visual effects. Shadow quality we can lower. How much the good is that? Turn that off. Are we good now? Am I gonna stop dropping frames now? Or skipping frames? Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay, now that I can actually do stuff. Why is my laptop not connected to the internet? Oh, yes it is. Okay, I'm just stupid. Okay, zoom in. Discovering is number 24 on this interactive map. Has been grabbed or not? If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. In the, I can't see that. It's floating off the mountain. So if I don't see it floating in the sky, then no. <laughs> and I'm assuming that if it was floating in the sky, I would see it. Or is it that one right there? Wait, is it that right over down there? I think it's a different one. Yeah, that's a different one. I think. Yeah, that's a completely different one. Okay, then this one has been obtained. I thought it was just floating randomly. We can just mark. Oh dear God, my mouse just marked that as obtained. Is there anywhere I can put my laptop so I don't have to like lean awkwardly to the side? I think I could like like I could like put it there and just hope I don't knock it over accidentally. It's hard um, to on dry land for so long. I'll just wait let's see. Let me get my land legs back. Yes, yes, I know. Um, move this here. Move this. I need to clean up that can. Tactics, I'm always ready. Scoop that back. Ooh, you're gonna hear like me. Oh god, it. I was rubbing the mic there for a sec. This is not a permanent solution, but this makes my life slightly easier. Slightly. Now my mic is in front of the screen. Um. Hold on. Let's. Mute myself real quick. Okay, put the mic on the other side of the screen. So now it's out of the way. Might leave it there actually. Okay, everything is fine. I just gotta go check out those two. Put you right there on my little map. 31 and 32. Oh, jeez. I 
strange story in Canada. It makes me think that I'm assuming I've done a strange oh, story in Canada. Well, where was this? Was the one where you went underground, right? I'm just going to say I did grab them. Okay, that is... Oh, we still have this one. Okay, and then all of this island. What is this island called? Narukami Island. All of Narukami Island will be... I could go to this, learn, like, unlock that. Is there actually a, a thing on this island? Um, yes. There it is. And one right here. One here. There's one here. There's also one. go down in like a weird line. Um to do for half of these things. Or wait, do I? Do I just break the seal? No.
How do I not remember how to go through these? Actually, I do know why I don't remember. It's because I haven't played in like a year. But I can't find the... Oh, wait, it's those. Okay, wait, I saw those. Wait. These. No. Not those. We died. What did we just do? How to get through the dome of Electro Genshin? Zuma. Let's use the little electro gamma or whatever the fuck they're called. I scratched my finger and it hurts. Oh, right here. Is it Gana or Gamma? Granum. Or wrong. Both times. So with these, we should be able to go through. Yes. So it's only a temporary um, thing. There's a dude here. Is he supposed to be a boss character? Maybe. He seems significant. Is there a rope around this rock? Gather. God damn it. Eh. Eh. Oh shit. Right. Uh, don't fall. There we go. So now we've grabbed. Thirty-three. Next is this one. So we'll get that first. Go here, grab that. Go around the island on the boat, grab this. Maybe. Then go to that. Or look at that one. Yes. Treasure hunter orders. I can't remember where currently. Stabilize. 
There's your quarter. Okay. And then there's this guy up here. Doing this also gives me a great chance to like explore the region I'm in. Because I'm Oh dear god. Solidify. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Electronoculus. Incinerate. Certainly worth the extra money. Oh, that's the thing right there. Okay. Uh, we need to go. Commission the Defender. Oh, it's right there. I was like, where the fuck is it? I can't see it. It's in the tree. Navigate. And then go over here to the. Ooh, there's a challenge right there. We should go do that. Do you have recipe? like go to buy from him. Okay. Never mind then. Uh oh let's look at this chest I guess. my least favorite place collect oh shit I don't think I'm gonna get this gonna mark it for now. So I know where it is. Now we get this. Okay.
that's a perfect picture opportunity. Hold on, let's get, actually, hold on. Let's switch Chi Chi out for the moment, for the time being. Pictures. I'm obsessed with taking cool pictures. Uh, this looks cool. I should look up my screenshot folder. Hold on. Let's go find my screenshot folder. Let's see how many fucking pictures I've taken in this game. <laughs> um. Let's. How do you even find that in the first place? Um. Oh no. that's doing some searchings. Let me get this Oculus thing. Something or other. the fishing spot. Wait, where's the actual fishing spot? Right here. Sick. Okay. Back to the task. so many searching. I think we'll like give a thorough search of this island specifically since it's so far out. Just to make sure we explore every inch of it just to get all of it done. Um, so that when I try to get 100% in all of Inazuma I don't have to come all the way out here. Um, I think that's how you were supposed to get it. So we'll see in a second. Get. 
no, it's underwater. Although, I would see it by now. I would think. Yeah, I would see it by now. That's all of the ones on this island that had been marked previously. So let's look around this island just to explore so I don't come back here. Yeah. Just hopefully I remember yeah. that I explored already. Okay, that's not what I was going for, but okay, I found a secret treasure chest. Okay, now to mark actual ones that I don't have. Okay, so let's zoom in as far as we can here. So there's one here, one here, one here. Let's see, let's go all around the island. Searching. That's fine, I guess. Penchukaku. We can go fight this real quick. Just get like a little break from things. We can get fire stuff from here. Uh, this is where we fight Senora. Although she's really fucking annoying to fight. Senor, you're so annoying. <laughs> you're trembling. Is it the cold or just cowardice? I mean, she's hot. I'll give her that.
Now the cutscene. this now. Is Shiznaya based off Russia? Because I'm thinking it is. Senora, but okay. We are fine. Eyes on me. Yeah. 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 Embrace your searing reckoning. Where the fuck did you go? Embrace your searing reckoning. It literally says Crimson Witch of Embers in your title. Not even ashes will remain. Embrace your fearing reckoning. Okay. okay, motherfucker. Not every wound will heal. Solidify. Go. Order guide. You motherfucker. to do the fire part for me because I don't know I just don't have a, like an elemental character that does enough I need like Barbara or something to be like super powerful so then I can fight her or something I don't know I don't know the proper way to fight this character okay so when we get a shoot a shield, and we just stand next to one of these. Gather. Embrace your searing reckoning. No, 
No thanks. Not every wound will heal. Literally, Beto's shield attack is the only thing that really does damage to her. Solidify. Oh, I broke that thing, so it got rid of a bunch of the burn. Attacking girls physically also does a lot of damage. Stabilize. Get that over there. And then let's just go over here to the not burned areas. But everyone, everyone but Yen Fei actually like does something to her, or is important in this fight. So we'll just ignore the fact that Yen Fei exists, basically. <laughs> Which I guess makes sense, cause like she's like a a crimson witch of embers. Like makes sense that Pyro wouldn't do much to her. Solidify. Oh, I broke. Eventually I'm just gonna have to constantly be healing myself. Ignoring existence. Honestly, I think I hate this fight more than I hate Storm Terror. as like a way to take damage. There we go. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. And this is where we stand next to one of these. How did I do this fight in the in the beginning? I remember like during the oh my god during like Solidified. the introduction thing I don't think I died but I struggled with this fight I remember that specifically this is Orc. she moved didn't she yeah she moved there we go not every wound will heal okay don't care oh my god, it's such an instinct to just immediately go to Yen Pei after that First characters to actually die in this game. Stabilize. Okay. Heal is wrong. And that's a tornado, so we're just gonna go stand over here. Gather. Who dares? Call me a witch. That's an interesting character design. 
there's no way Chesnai isn't based off Russian. Like, look at her name. Like, her actual name. Underneath the Crimson Witch of Embers, that's like her actual name. Stabilize. Ain't no way that's not Russian. Huh. Or something along those lines. Life goes on. Okay, yeah, like the reason we came here was to get the thing. There's an area underneath the castle I need to go to. Or I think the one that I was just above. And then there's one... Wait. Oh no. That's... Oh my god. How the hell... Are you supposed to get out fast? Um... No, actually. giant rope. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he's doing right now. the lantern thing apparently Get you in the stamina again okay kind of bugging out but it should work okay we got past I think the hardest So this should be like relatively easy. <gasps> oh shit, I didn't press space bar. Okay, I did and it didn't work. Can I? Can I? Okay. Um. Sick. Okay, now I just gotta get on top of this, right? <laughs> Um, 
the hell? Okay. Never mind. How are you supposed to do this? I need it. We will get this. <laughs> we will do this. I think I'm onto something here. We're getting up here. I could just get it to land on the railing, that'd be great. I'm pretty sure, like, no. I mean, if I put Lumine as Traveler, she's set to animal, though, which means I'd have to manually, I have to leave and then come, climb back up to use her. even if it works. You know, let's just try the other side because this side sucks. It's not like they are the same side or anything, but you know, whatever. Why is this so hard? Why did it? I'm like, I, lo I love the style of these buildings. I love the style of these Japanese buildings so much. But trying to climb on top of them in this game is so difficult. Okay, see that, but on the railing. That's what I want. I'm just gonna take this way. Quake. Okay, but when I do it on the railing, it just goes sideways. Crumble. And I just went down. Angle here we can try.
Would it benefit me to try using a small character like Chi-Chi? Maybe. Because also it's kind of funny when Zhongli is like just a wee directly under everything. weird noises. be really helpful right now? Fucking Kazuma. What the hell? Weird ass fucking invention. Bad. So, his traveler has the geo ability. Wind catcher. Oh my god. <coughs> I just started dying. Give me a sec. Can I jump on that? Ah! Oh my god. I'm trying to get on the damn lightning bolt looking thing. No, I can't. That's lame. Okay, let's see. Um. Um, there's like nothing. How in the hell do you expect me to get up here like a normal person? Okay, well, obviously this one is going to be um, later because fuck this. There's no way to get up that without using something that I don't have currently at this time. I'm gonna get the one that's in the cave. Is that the cave? No. No. There's supposedly
can mine where I want to get to. Okay. Watch it not be up here. That's where it's going. Okay, <laughs> it's not up here. No, I don't know where this fucking cave is. There's a cave underneath the tower. Oh, right here. Okay, thank God. <laughs> we found it. Okay, let me write. Come back. of Oni Kabuto in this cave. I'll gladly take this. I missed. No. Quake. I did it. Okay. Lock this one on. Okay, what's next? Probably that one. Is that one like in the air or something? Oh, that. That's the thing right there. Okay, are they like sealy sealies or are they yeah, they're like actual sealies? Are they out in the water? This is a question. Get one thing. So one of them needed a memento lens. I guess that's the one that needed a memento lens. Oh, I see one over there, so we should probably go get that wave rider. I feel like it might be useful. Oh, that must be the other one, all the way over there. Okay. Okay. This was an easier way to do this without using as much stamina. Yeah, I don't know if it's true. What the hell?
Okay. Hi, I'm sorry. I just hit, oh. uh, hit them that random there. Let's see if that would work. Which I guess it did. the shrine of the death right there. Pretty sure I have an Inazuma in Shrine of the Death Spot. Life says I do help. What achievement is that? Let's go over here and get this shrine. Let's go look how much salt to the steak. Sorry. My breath smells like my dinner. Um, it's on top, isn't it? Or not? I thought it was. Can this old lady give me things? Bloom. I don't know where this guy just went. Oh, is this how we get these things? not like in weird spots. That one isn't. There's a quest over here. So that's what it says here in this book. And I'm starving. Hey Parvana, why don't you look up some other method in your dictionary? What do you think I am? Omnipotent? Besides, this isn't a dictionary, it's just a travel log from the academia. Fine, just think of a way to eat. Otherwise we'll have to get grilled fish again. Grilled fish? Well, let's just go back to town and get an adventure to help. Or put up a commission, shall we? Isn't that what we used to do back in Lila when you had a problem? That was Lila. We're in Inazuma now. We're strange to this land. What are you all doing? Are you an adventurer, a traveler, or both? Well, forget it, who cares? I guess it's the state. We're the gourmet supremos. We're currently traveling on the world in a quest to improve- to <laughs> A quest to improve our culinary skills. 
<laughs> I'm begging you, can you please not say that name out loud? Uh, come on, it's fine. Anyway, Charlie, are you also going in to collect Sakura Bloom? I'm so, if so, I'm afraid to be disappointed. This place can block us some kind of weird contraption. There's no way in. The method you mentioned earlier. Oh, you're really going in? Well, that means that method was recorded inside Parvena's dictionary. I told you, it's not a dictionary. It's a travel log from the academia. Well, whatever the case, she found a way. It says you need to touch a thunder Sakura bow before you can get through this barrier. But as for those so thunder Sakura bows, to be honest, we have no idea what they really look like. There aren't any photos in this book either. I'm officially sick of eating grilled fish. If I can get my hands on some of those Sakura blooms, I'm sure I can just up something nice. Something nice up. I've heard that the ones here have the best mouthfeel and make. Oh, there's a bug in my hand. And make for perfect ingredient cooking ingredients. But why, oh why does there have to be a barrier here? Well, we'll keep trying our luck right here. Let us know if you find some leads, traveler. Mr. Shudong, is that really how you ask someone for a favor? Yes. Alright, traveler, if you could help us bring some socket blooms out from inside. If you could do that, never mind the payment. Shudong here will also make you some really awesome food. You're really good at making these sales, huh, Jinzi? Well, that's how it is, traveler. Please help us if you don't mind. Sure. Like the special socket of I really know that. Oh, don't let me mention this one more. There's a bunch of monsters burying our path. Are these socket blooms you've been looking for? Oh, I guess that's what they are. In this color. Ooh, guess we can finally eat now. Wait, you already passed through that barrier? Did you use that method I told you about? That I did. Can you tell me where you found that socket of. that thunder socket of us? When you touched that bow, how did the electric atom come to rest upon you? Wait, I'm sorry. Let me pull out my notebook. Did you feel anything after the electric atom attached to you? And. Someone else, please. Give the traveler a moment. They just helped us out. I think the research can wait a bit, right? Thank you very much. Sir. As we agreed, you will be paid. But for that, just wait here for us for a while. I believe I'll be able to make a dish with the socket of blooms you brought. I've heard of an Inazuma specialty known as Sakura Tempura. Tempura. Tempura? I don't know if that's how you say it. I suppose now's the time to try it out. Give me a while to prepare. It shouldn't take too long. So come find me in a moment. Have you finished it yet? This all in one wrapper. Put it in to dry. And there we go. Sakura tempura. Try it while it's hot. It's delicious. It's a bit too hot. Sure, and I believe that this tempura also needs to be served with a special dipping sauce. Dipping sauce? Well, I must say that I haven't tried one of those yet. I'll look into it next time, should we get the chance. The serving of sakura tempura is yours, traveler. Please take it as thanks for our, your help. Ah, oh, yes, I'll give you a copy of the recipe too. Just give me a moment to write it down. Try it yourself if you get a chance. Cooking is really fun, you know. Thank you. Don't mention it. We'll be in Inazuma for a while, so I suspect that we might get to Kanazuka later. Julie says that she also wants to see the sacred Sakura tree at the Grand Narakami Shrine. They say that all the Sakura blooms in this island fell from that huge tree. I wonder how large must that tree have been to have leaves so many have so many fall from it. You should pay to visit if it takes your fancy too. Thank you for your help once again, traveler. Well, I'm going to have a bite because I'm starving. I'll make the cream most of these. I kind of started a quest just a little bit. Get the laptop back on to the sleep mode. Got that one. Where did we get the other one? I got that one. But let's get the other one anyway. It's over here, apparently. In the sky, use the electric structure to collide. Oh, it is in the sky. Do I use that over there? Oh, 
was like a wall right there. Okay, we'll do that after. <laughs> okay. What's in there? Oh, it's a chest. Okay. What the hell? Oh, right here. Shine duties. Okay, uh, and we get a little artifact. Okay, next. We're gonna go here. We'll teleport people there. This is number 10. Right on top of the tree. Oh! I see. Oh, I love this thing. Leave me alone. Or wait, oh, do you do this? this I am thoroughly confused Oh, is this supposed to be the actual way you're supposed to do it and not with slimes? <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Um, we'll just leave it alone, I guess. Okay, so I know how to get stuff on, I just can't get it right now. Um, why don't we just teleport here and then just fly down to these other three? Four. There's four of them around this thing. Okay. Uh, which way to go first? This way? I'll just make our way around. Or, we get this one and then fall down.
above the ruin guard. Fly to the from the waypoint for easier access. Body. Flight directly below. Me. Oh! Above the ruin guard. Oh, those can. But can he? Oh, he can't. Okay. Get 21 and 22. 21 so 22, I think it's higher than 21, so we'll go to that one first. On top of the waterfall. Very descriptive. Is it underground, actually? That might be. Knock the weed. Thanks. Seven I can't get to yet. And then whatever number that is I can't get to yet.
underneath that. Socket of seeds. A socket of bloom. I'm pretty sure I need them for a ride in Shogun's thing. Which I do want to level her up eventually. Uh -oh. oh shit. I'm stuck okay. on a deserted Can I hit it? Can I hit it? Can I hit it? Forgot all about that thing. Okay. If I remember correctly, there was always like an arch in every single like when this met was this video that I saw. It was before Sumaru was released, but somebody found an arch like this. Um, in every single uh, a nation that pointed towards um. Celestia, which is that weird floating island thing above Mondstadt that like looks like it's tilted from certain angles. I think this was the Inazuma Arch. That they showed in the video. When stuck on a deserted island, rain is a precious source of drinking water. There's no need for it now though. game intentionally tries to shoot me with lightning, I swear to god. See, look at that shit. See that on the map? It's not on the actual map, but it's on my mini map. Oh shit. No, I don't want to fight it. I don't want to fight it. I want to leave. Let me out! I have no stamina. Let me out. Okay. I'm back here. So we got a deserted number two. Of <laughs> Can I just like float all the way to Yeah, probably not. No need for it now, we'll go get a new wave rider. What's that? Oh, is that like a fancy ruin guard thing? With a chest behind it. Don't worry about it. Another time.
Oh, Jesus. Kitsune. There we go. How the hell? I don't know what the mic's picking up on. What the hell? What is the mic picking up on? That was an important question. Um, is my mic bugging out? Hold up on my phone. Or no, what the hell? I just lost my goddamn stream on the phone. Oh, what the hell? I know what it's doing. Um, oh shit. Okay, I don't know how loud that is. It's not working, so I switch it to my headphone mic. Okay, I don't know how loud that is. What the fuck? It's not working, so I switch it to my headphone mic. Going to spark really loudly. Um. Okay. Uh, I guess this will have to do for now since my mic's being weird. Oh no, hold on. I can't hear my game now. What the fuck? 
Okay, I guess we're gonna have to try to fix the fucking mic. Where is it? Why am I doing that? Did that do anything? I don't know what I did. Turn that off. It's where it's placed on my desk is what it's causing that. Sorry, you're hearing sound as I move it. Um, I don't know how that makes any sense. But okay. That has been going on since I moved my microphone. Jeez. As long as I keep my goddamn laptop on, I don't care. Turn it back on. How do we find this? Oh, it's down here, probably somewhere. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Uh, 
I have no protection. What the hell? Oh, this is on the surface. There is no way I'm getting back up here. Okay, we're just gonna go here. Swim across that way. Oh jeez. Breaking things. Um Both way. Solidified. I guess I'm supposed to use the mental lens on a small fox. That doesn't really help. So like, I'm thinking... Maybe I already grabbed this one and just didn't realize it? No, because I would see the statue. I did not see the statue. The statue... In here for some reason. There is a, um, a thing you can use to, like, locate these guys, so I guess we'll just have to figure that out with that, because I don't know. Um, I'm done looking for these things, so we'll take a break from that. I'm gonna plug in my laptop. Um, and we'll go do some other stuff. It's one of the things you get from this, I think. Lots of treasure maps. I guess not. I guess we get it a different time. Um. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Ow! The 
just hit my knee. Um. Let's see. Um, we ca this is Baiju's story quest, but let's do. One of these two. Or I could do fucking this. Let's go do this. Maybe. Because <laughs> there is, um, like, weekly things to do regarding this. The TCG stuff. So we'll do that. So many cats. I mean, it's called the cat's tail, but there's a lot of cats. So many cats. Welcome to the cat's tail. Ah, <laughs> it's the traveler of Paimon. What a nice surprise. Oh, and Sucrose the alchemist. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> She's blushing. I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale, no matter how much more you offer. <laughs> Don't worry, Margaret. We're not here for that research project I told you about last time. Fur from the cat's tail staff. Uh, Sucrose, what kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? There's a bunch uh, of cats oh, here. I just wanted to test out some hypotheses, and I needed some materials. But, uh, we can talk about that later. Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG. We were just talking about that game. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the Cat's Tail to play, so I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to serve the new customers? Speaking of which, I believe you've already met. Met? Met who? You know, Prince. This is the Cat's Tail after all, so I thought having a cat take care of our new customers would be quite a nice touch. A guy in the hat? Yes! Ah, allow me to interpret. <clears throat> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. Hmm, <laughs> my mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. This is Prince and Shuyin. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most formidable TCG player of all, is capable of providing valuable guidance to our new players. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play, and he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate with everyone. What? I am merely Prince's lowly assistant. That's all. What? Wow! Another guy who can understand animals! I don't think he can. How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only prince? He is okay, special sir. and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to prince. Meow. Meow. Oh, what's that? Shu Yen. In the eyes of the common folk, I look no different than any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to make and you shouldn't overreact. Ah, understood. I do apologize. Hmm. It seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Seriously, how can he get all of that from a simple meow? It's pretty weird. It was the duels of genius invocation TCG that allowed our hearts to bond. It's understandable that ordinary people such as yourselves are unable to comprehend such a thing. So, 
playing Genius Imitation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players? Hmm, somehow caught on that. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shuyin. Uh, who will ask Prince? Though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk you through all the rules. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself. And I must therefore politely decline. <clears throat> That's what Prince said. Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Fine, then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play you instead. <laughs> I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty card master Prince, I swore an oath that my hand would live solely to hold the card. And not to play them. I will never play another match of my own again. Okay. If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Hmm. How about this? Diona! We know Diana. I have Diona. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. What is it? I'm pretty busy over here, you know. Diona! <laughs> Bartender de Castell hates all alcoholic beverages but has a rare talent for bartending. No matter the drink, as long as the mixing is in his hands, it would be unimaginably delicious. It's some of the best cats ears and tails that run in our family. Our big hint with hunters hit with hunters, making the cat's wish really popular. Please take care not to touch by on his ears or tail when ordering at the bar. If you cross her, the consequences will be dire. Huh. Why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Ugh! Don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? Seriously, games and drinks don't mix. Don't they get that? Nah. What can I say? As the tavern owner, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of genius invocation? Ha! <laughs> yeah. What kind of break is that? I'd rather not. Huh. Oh. Why are we letting all these loafers come in here to play Genius Invocation TCG anyway? All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink. Uh, you know, if drink sales keep going up like this, pretty soon Mondstadt's alcohol industry is gonna reach new heights. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was loud. Be stamping out the spread of genius invocation TCG. My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself. A clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Prince speaks the truth, Diana. Not only is the spread of Genius Invocation TCG no obstacle to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. C could it really? Sure, why not? Alrighty then, our two customers are waiting to learn. Shuyin, let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. But Shuyin is destined for a far greater purpose. Shuyin, drink mixing, now. Oh. Okay. Ooh, all right. We'll need some space to learn. <laughs> Let's go to that empty table over there. Okay. I'm quite intrigued to know what this game is. Because it's, like, in the weeklies of, like, the battle pass. So, like, obviously it's something interesting. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rules. First things first. You'll be needing your deck. So place that on the table. I don't have uh, one. Deck? Uh, yes. You should have built a deck. You know, a set of cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. Oh, what's with the blank stares? Come on. Don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards. You have a practice deck we could try. Yeah, we need a practice deck. Can't you just let us use one? 
no such thing. Okay, let me think. <sighs> to learn the game, you'll need at least two character cards to switch between. Oh, oh, that reminds me. A few days ago when I was closing up for the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character cards on the bar counter. <laughs> Maybe you could use those for now. Are you sure that's okay? It's already been a few days, and he still has to come back to claim them. Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose. Oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. Y you know, just in case the customer came looking for them. No, no, <laughs> not because I like to play the game or anything. <laughs> All right, so now we have two character cards. That's everything we need, right? Yep. So, are you ready to start? Yes. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to the world of Genius Invocation TCC! Who's who? Am I the Hilly Charles? Simply put, this is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponents. Pew pew pew! Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be yours! Now then, you're gonna need a character on the field to start with. Oh, I'm D. Luke and Kaya. Okay, so I do. D. 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 Luke. What the fuck? Set Let's active card. Swiftly. First, we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. Okay. These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Once the roll phase is over, you'll enter the action phase, where the real game starts. During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Of course, the most common action is to use character skill. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Not bad. You just made your first attack. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. And as you can see, once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again. Can I just like a smaller one? are on the element dice. They can be spent on any move regardless of the elemental type. So, we're gonna use them to pay for the pyro dice needed for this skill. So on, get- Give it a try. Okay, I was just gonna use this. But okay. That's one opponent down for the count. <laughs> yeah. But the game has only just begun. Remember? You have to defeat all opponents to win. Hmm. As much as we'd like to attack again, seems like we've run out of usable dice. <sighs> In that case, Let's end this round. After you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this round. And once everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the next round. A fresh new round means time to roll the dice again. 
That's how we're gonna get the elemental energy we need, after all. Ooh, that's some terrible luck. Huh? There's no way we'll be able to use D Luke's skill now. But don't worry, situations like these are why we have the option to reroll. <laughs> Once around, you can select all the dice that you don't like and re-roll them. So literally all but one. <laughs> oh, okay. When the action phase begins, the player who first chose N round in the previous round takes their turn first. This means that since you finished first the last round, You'll be the first to start this round. Alrighty then, let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental bursts. Each time you use a skill, your character will gain one energy. Okay. Once Diluc's energy is full, he can use a powerful elemental burst. But we're still one short. Never mind. Let's start with a normal attack instead. Diluc's normal attack only needs one pyro die and two other dice of any type. In any case, your normal attack needs fewer pyro dice than your elemental skill. <laughs> now we have three energy plus. We have enough pyro elemental dice left over. It's time to use your powerful elemental burst! What does that three mean? Okay. Time for retribution! There's four sections of this? Okay. In an actual game of Genius Invocation TCG, you need to use multiple character cards to form a party. Next up, it's time for your second character card, Kaya, to take the stage. Seems like any move by Kai is going to cost quite a lot of cryo dice. Why won't it let me... Not... Okay. When you deal cryo damage, you'll cause your target to be affected by cryo. Okay. Obviously. That makes sense. Good! Now our opponent is affected by cryo! This is a good time to learn about elemental reactions. Different types of elemental damage affect enemies with different elements. When a character is affected by certain elemental combos, an elemental reaction will be triggered. Okay, just like the actual game. At the moment, your opponent is affected by cryo, so we should try and use a pyro skill on them. Looks like we have to switch active characters, though. Oh, that reminds me. Both sides must have one active character, while others are considered standby characters. Normally, we can only use the active character skills. Now, if we want to use the skills of our standby character, we'll have to switch them to the active character. In this case, we'll have to switch to D Luke in order to use his skill. You can spend one elemental die of any kind to switch a standby character to the active character. Let's finish this swiftly. Switching characters is an action just like using a skill. So once it's done, it's your opponent's turn. Most skills can only target the active character. As you can see, your opponent just attacked Diluc. 
All right then. Now that Diluc is our active character, it's time to use his skill. Because the opponent is already affected by Trident, dealing pyro damage triggers the Melt Elemental Reaction. When triggered, Melt increases damage dealt by two. This will allow you to deal loads of damage in one go. <laughs> Genius Invocation's Elemental Reaction System is pretty cool, huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> These cards are all known as action cards. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. Looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make an attack. I literally can't use any of those. Seriously? We still don't have any usable dice even after that reroll? Well, uh, never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. We just need to put the action cards in our hand to good use. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grant all kinds of support and buffs to your active character. Take this one, for example. So playing this action card will require two of these. Uh, see the symbol? Yeah. That means you'll need to play elemental dice at the same time. Okay. Makes sense. Some other cards will cost you these instead. The cost requirements for these are much more lenient. You can spend any kind of elemental dice. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. For now, just play this action card. Uh... Sure. So, playing an action card from your hand is a form of fast action. Fast actions do not end your current turn. Simply put, you can continue to act even after playing an action card. Well then, <laughs> you have your blade. Time to test it out. But wait, Diluc's elemental skill costs three pyro dice, and right now, we don't even have one. <laughs> Not a problem. This is where we can use a more advanced mechanic known as elemental tuning. By discarding one card from your hand, you can convert one elemental die into the element of your current active character. And this card isn't useful right now. So we might as well use it for elemental tuning. Sometimes you won't be able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. Oh well, moving on. Ingenious Invocation TCG. Keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. In this case, well, <laughs> let's just take all these useless cards and use them for elemental tuning. Just like playing cards from your hand, elemental tuning is a fast action. Come on, hurry up! Use elemental tuning to get yourself three pyro dice. I'm working. Give me a second. Because you have the white iron greatsword equipped, searing onslaught will deal one extra damage. What? adjustments to your initial hand at this time we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile 
and then draw the same number of new cards. What? I don't know what any of these do, but okay. Once you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Oh boy, this one's a real doozy. We gotta take it out pronto. Let's see how you do this time. Remember, start by selecting your initial starting character. Let's go. We'll do D Luke, I guess. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so we can get rid of those. That didn't really help. <laughs> oh no. Okay. opponent's actions. I mean, that is to say, you can read their intent. Check what it you out. Do? So here's where you can see all your opponent's intentions for this round. All your opponent's intended actions for the round will be listed here in order. Reference this to come up with effective countermeasures and easily defeat your opponent. Well then, that's the end of the tutorial. You're on your own from here. May victory be yours. Okay, I want to give him the sword. What does this do? Use that as well. What does this do? Okay, we won't mess with that. Um... I think I just fucked myself over. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's one more thing I almost forgot. Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards pile. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win. Now, what the hell does that do? What do these do? Okay. Um. Reroll those, because I don't think I'm going to be using Kaya. That didn't really help. Okay. What does that do? Tell your active character. That would be used for this, for Kaya, even though I don't know if I'll actually use him. Um. Let's. You know, we'll hold on to that. Okay, give me a moment. And then we'll do this. I don't need to do that. Okay, that's fine. I did it. <laughs> okay. That took really long. Those are those who can run the characters and action cards and go to the village. Various opponents at the table. Your uh, you know I think this is just telling me everything I just learned. Yeah. Okay. I don't care. I don't want to read all right, this. Cool. Those are the basics. Did you get all that? What we yes. just played was an adventure challenge designed specially for new players. Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player brings three character cards, or an adventure challenge mode, with a fixed deck for each challenge. But the rules are all the same. As long as you understand the basics, then you should be able to take on any of those rowdy booze hounds. 
Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. That was quite the detailed explanation. I didn't know oh, that hi, tale's famous mixologist had such an eclectic skill set. What? What? Oh, when did you get here? I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. I can copy exactly what she just said. You have slow reactions. Wait, are you copying me? Shut up. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? The cat's tail is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Hmm, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind, it's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. Wait, this card? The do loop card? Although I have some degree of experience with Genius Invocation TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh? And what sort of a customer was he? Is it Kaya? He wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? He had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. He wasn't much of a talker and looked like he was just drinking his worries away. You never seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch, you say? It's Kaya. Gah. I was trying to give the ultra fit description, but I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, Bart Thompson. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on it. I didn't expect d -Loop to be familiar with Genius Invocation TCG. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and then, I'll sit down and play a game with the customers in Angel Share. Up for a game now. I was hoping we could play a game. Huh? But this issue of Ooh, what? leaving a character card with my image of the cat's tail is... Very intriguing. It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. We'll have to have that duel another time. Thanks for the follow, Addison. Hey there, my name is Addison. I was wondering if you play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I don't have the game, sadly. But if I did, I would. I don't have the game, sadly. It's one of the games on my wish list, though. You mean water break? I don't have water! Wait, actually, I might. Hold on. I think there's a water bottle on my bed. It might have some water still in it. Oh god, let's not knock over that! I just dropped a dirty knife into a pile of clothes. This is why I need to get a spray in my room. Um. I don't know how well anyone can hear me. Water bottle, where are you? Oh, there is still water in it. Okay, that works. Ah, ow! Everything hurts. Yeah, my room's a mess right now because I was not living at home because um, I was at college and now I've moved back home officially and my room kind of got destroyed while I was gone. I just spilled water down my face. Okay. I always forget that I have water break there and then I never have water prepared. For when it happens because usually i have like a cup of whatever i'm drinking usually it's milk because i'm literally addicted to milk but that doesn't usually count uh, i sure look forward to it then i'll take my leave bye d luke bye you know where the Ow. door is don't let the door hit you where lord barbados licked you uh -oh. what sorry captain kaya I oh my eye. Kaya will be all right. Probably not, but it's fine. Well, now that we are familiar with the rules, 
why don't we try playing a game of genius imitation tcg oh my god something's in my eye Ooh, two new players having their first ever duel <laughs> this sounds like fun i'm so but gonna in order beat to play an official duel, we need to have three character cards remember uh -huh. a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards got it mm-hmm then excuse me let's use my cards these were mixed in with all the others I had received. And I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya, Diluc, and Sucrose character cards. So why don't we have our first duel? Okay. All right, let's duel. I've noticed that these characters talk so slowly and I get really impatient. Uh, let's have some candy because I'm bored and I need something to munch on. So if you hear me unwrapping candy, I am sorry. Oh dear God, what do these do? What do you do? Uh, I don't have geo characters, so that won't matter. I don't care for that. I don't care for that. <laughs> it's just one. It of your characters on standby to your what oh okay we'll hold on to that what is this Gee, I literally don't want any of these oh it's I amber the adventure challenge you tried previously oh my god she's still not done talking of strength between two players in a duel your opponent can also use action cards and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase okay Makes sense, you know, because it's a card game. game. Time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take action. So you'll be unable to view their intent. <laughs> Are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. Okay. Yeah. Meowza? Okay. Okay. What cards? Okay, that's a bow. What is amber? Summon? Okay. Destroy all summons. And that just heals, I think. No. I don't know. Who do we want to set as an active character? Um... Um... Uh, D Luke, I guess. I have to try this game. I want to. When it first came out, I was like, I want this. And um, I could actually buy it soon, since I have money. Um, we'll ignore D Luke and just, like, play Kaya and Sucrose. That didn't help me at all. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, you can only... You can only put them on characters that use... That... Okay. We will... Tune that... Okay. Um. Yes. Opponent switched to D Luke. Ha! Can I, let's do the summon card. Or not. Okay, never mind. We won't do the summon card. Oh, fuck. Tell me when you get it, because I want to play with you. Um. 
I will... When I get it, I will for sure stream it, probably. That is a fact. I do stream, like, just about every game I get. Uh... Get fucked. Okay. I can't do anything. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, that's useful. I can use that. I don't know what the other one does. Um. Okay, dice roll. Oh, dear God. We're not using D- mm, Maybe we will use D, Luke. Okay. Uh, what does this card do? What? Wait, what? Create Omni Element. I don't know what that is. Okay, give him the sword. Okay, we can... I don't know how to use this card, so we're just gonna not. Mental tuning. Tuning. Yes. And now that's only gonna do one after you switch characters it does that don't get frostbite this is confusing what does that do oh End round. My brain hurts. What is your name? You can call me Miner. That's what just about everyone calls me. Oh my god. Okay, we're just strictly using fucking Kaya at this point. Actually, mm. Why? I don't have a hydro character! Fuck you, game. Okay. Why did it only give me. Okay, put that on you. What does this do? Spends one less electro dice. I don't give a fuck, because I don't have an electro character, so go all the fuck away. Um, can I use this on you? What was that supposed to do? Normal attacks cost one less. Oh, that's what that did. Insufficient energy. I think my Kaya's about to die. Uh. Oh. Okay, what does this do? Okay, I have an idea. Prerequisite's not met. What is the prerequisite? Oh, fuck you. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
I'm not doing the best, I don't think. Animo and Cryo. Okay, I can use this. I can do this. We'll switch these out for something hopefully better. That literally was like the exact same fucking thing. Okay. Don't kill me. Oh. Fuck you. I'm not done. Uh, set you. I want to help. Those can be no Okay. Ha! Once fuck you! Defeated. I love you, Sucros, but fuck you. I beat your card. Um Let's do that. Um, why do you ask is the question. Like, is there a specific reason why you want to know how old I am? Draw two cards. Yes. Use that one. Actually, I should have used the cryo card, I just realized. I don't need you. I'll keep that. Oh, I'm not done. Sucrose. I still got cars to spend. Okay, and then that's it. <laughs> then it continues. I don't think I have anything else I can do. Okay. Ow, why does my finger hurt? Oh yeah, I scratched my finger on a nail. That's why it hurts. Uh, ow. Oh shit, okay, we don't need cryo, or like, any of these. Okay, okay. Literally all animo, I can- I'll roll with that. Just wanna get to know you. I- I am almost 20 years old. I'll be 20 in two months. Why is it only letting me attack that character? I want to attack this character. Okay. <gasps> Shifts one artifact from a card that has been equipped to one of your characters to another one of your characters. Oh, wait. I don't need you. Okay. And I guess I'll hold on to that. Um... Why is it doing so little damage? I guess it's weak. Animal hyperspace simulation. Does it have like a lasting effect? Yes. I'm not done. Stand clear. My turn continues. It does. But now I can't do anything. And I can't even use these. No. Okay, we're fine. We're doing fine! Oh my god. Wait, does that last over the- Maybe it does. Round six! Jesus. Okay. Oh, right. Dice. Um, you know, literally all of these. Except for that one. That was not that helpful. Heh, <laughs> fuck you. Okay. Hold on, let me get my candy. Meaning Reese's. Why the fuck are Reese's so fucking- <gasps> I ripped it. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. They're so annoying to open. I ripped it. Hold up. Mmm. What card do I have? What the fuck is that? Mmm. 
useful, because I need to do that, actually. Why are you declaring at the end of your round? What are you doing? Finish this swiftly. Ha. Oh. Okay. Hey, it's gonna do six damage. Oh my god. I'm not done. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Girl. You end your round so quickly. Why were you not expecting that? So, like, are you just getting bad dice or something? She has two health! She is so close to dying! Also, who the fuck is that? Okay, I just need Pyro. And maybe Animo. <laughs> you can just give me some Pyro dice. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Jesus Christ. Okay. Cryo dice. I, I no, I didn't have to do anything. Cause Sucrose's elemental burst or whatever the fuck you call it killed her for me. I can't believe I lost when we had the exact same character card. Cause you don't know what you're doing. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. You kept ending your turn. Is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body. I'm sorry, what? That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. I was looked down on in every I'm sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. I'll just say it was a close couple of nights. Well, I didn't know mm -hmm. you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I don't think anyone would have thought that. I get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Don't do that. I loved it, alchemy and experiments. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Probably. Our thing, so. is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. <laughs> Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all fan of genius and vocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? That means you're bad. A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But... It's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept your plain old. I don't know why I'm shit talking Sucrose, <laughs> to be honest. You make a good point, Diana. Sucrose, I love you. Sucrose, I don't know why I'm making great progress. shit talking. It'd take at least eight of our regular boo pounds to match your level. Uh, I'd rather flashback. Probably because I'm really drinking. It's a brilliant game. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. Good! Having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the cap stand. Uh, but don't expect me to play with you. I just mean, this place probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. Alright. I think you should have all the basics <coughs> down by now. I need to oh my God. to bartending. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. And we can't have that. I'm sort of dying. Huh. Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps <coughs> us dead busy, you know. So if you need any help, <coughs> go out or show you. Oh, the water went down the right, wrong pipe. Oh my god. I'm dying. Ugh. <coughs> <coughs> I'm 
Jeez. Okay. Oh, my thing reset. Okay. Wait, so it resets at 3 o'clock in the morning? The hell? I'm gonna talk to this dude, not Prince. Okay. I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation PCG. No, not really. Didn't notice you play any matches. Uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you in Super. Well, Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. Oh, sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become official players recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society, you have to pass the test. Sorry, I was looking on my Discord. Um, oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, I forgot I was looking up my Genshin screenshots. What the hell? Um. Huh. This is not... Uh -huh. mm -mm 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 -mm. You a painter? No, but I do draw digitally and physically. Um, I don't paint. I'm not good at painting. <coughs> My sister is though. She is, has like amazing paintings. Uh, is it this? Nope. Oh dear god. Okay, never mind. What the fuck? How much do I have? Uh, program files? What is it called? This is Genshin. Oh, right there. Oh, jeez. Oh god, I don't know which one it would be in. What the hell? Oh, uh, resources? No. Translations? No. <laughs> Game? That doesn't even have anything in it. Um, I got such a... It's really a test. Yes, although to be honest, it's not that difficult. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. So... You have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Lovely. Same way you can hear what Prince says? A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. Okay. But back to the matter at hand. The traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. To okay. Honest, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. Isn't that fun, this part? But no. first things first, Shu Yen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Ah, oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. I don't know what the fuck that is, but okay. Oh, Tanae's mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, that's right! The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So the casket of tomes is actually real? Probably not, but okay. <sighs> Actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called Caskets of Tomes. 
Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your decks, they can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a casket of tomes with them. Oh, Karna and Tinka said they're gonna say next. The reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside. That would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games? <laughs> no. The real reason that it can sense other okay. caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. Darn! What a letdown. Running other TCG players. Alright, now let's see this casket of tomes already! Does it at least look cool? All caskets of tomes are issued by Margaret, so you will need to see her to claim yours. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. Why do they sort of talk so much? That's only two wins in total. What about the last one? I shall choose the final contestant she must beat in order to become an official TCG player. For it must be one of comparable prowess. What? Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Are we done now? Oh my god, we're done. No, we're not. We gotta go talk to Margaret. <laughs> I am so done with dialogue right now. Like, I have Baiju's entire story quest to do, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to listen to fucking dialogue. <sighs> oh my god. Margaret! Give me my casket of tomes. She probably shouldn't be yelling. It's Hello, three in the morning. You three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Yes. Ah, I see you're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? <laughs> A very useful tool indeed. Mm-hmm. It looks like a backpack. No, it looks like a camera. That's just her hair I'm seeing that made it look like a backpack. It looks like a camera. So this is a casket of tomes. That's right. A purpose-built case for your card deck. That can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. Yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. True. So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the Cat's Tales. Can't be bad for business. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. All right. In that case... I'll go find some people to play against too. Let's meet back at the cat's tail in a while. You can win this. Thanks. I'll do my best. I believe in you, Sucrose. I love her. I'm in love with Sucrose. Uh, edit your decks. I can edit the decks. Oh shit. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ho hold on. Deck. Uh, oh, I can create a new deck. Holy shit. I don't care. Just let me. Oh, I only have these three. Well, fuck. Discard changes. I'm gonna find a player. How do we... Oh. Lucky coin. What the fuck is a lucky coin? What do you do with a lucky coin? Sup, Swan. I'ma duel you. Oh my god, there's more dialogue. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can assist the two of you with? Duel me. I see. 
Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now. You're always on duty. Oh my god, I'm not reading that for <laughs> to do. I see you're serious about this. Very well. As a fellow TCG player, I cannot refuse an earnest invitation to duel. <sighs> so be it. Then let the duel begin. Uh, fucking Favonius thing. I get coin. What the fuck do I do with fucking coin? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Uh, we don't need. Oh, that's animal. Okay, we'll hold on to animal. We'll hold. Okay, we'll take this. One less elemental die. Draw two cards. I'll just get rid of that. Okay, I like these cards. Who do I want? Let's do. Tutors. I should have said it to Kaya. Fuck. Oh, dear God. Okay. First, we do this, and we do that. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Okay. Give you... Sword. Let's go. <laughs> ah! Soon bye. All right. Have a good rest of your day or night or whatever time it is for you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, what the fuck do I do? Oh, I had to enter in. Okay. Ha, ah, fuck you, swan. I'm better than you. Oh, God. Literally none of these. I...
Oh my god, they can get me for five. No. What? Okay, there was no real point in me doing that, actually, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how this game works. Victory! I got coins. Gosh, I've lost. You're remarkably good at this, considering how new to the game you are. Let's play again when you have some time. But... Ideally, not when I'm on duty. You're always on duty. What are you talking about? Now we have perfect trees under our belt. Let's get back to the cat scale. Paimon wonders who Prince is gonna pick as our final contestant. Himself? Maybe? Probably? I don't know. Most likely. Hi, Prince. I sensed that she had what it took to become an official TCG player, but she has returned to the tavern more quickly than I had expected. Hello. Defeat the opponent I have arranged for you, and you shall become an official TCG player. I look forward to watching this game immensely. Not just Prince. I can't wait either. Come, your opponent is waiting for you in one of the private rooms. She is it Dilu? Mm-hmm. Is that Amber? Sounds like Amber. No, it's Fischl. That's Fischl. I guess Amber and Fischl sound similar. Pardon my corruption, but you have not been waiting for long. Main flowing line could afford to be a little less impatient. Huh? I'm on those gold voices. It's Fischl! Your opponent sounds anxious to begin. Do not delay. That's what Prince said. Please enter and enjoy your genius invocation TCG duel. Okay, time to go face official and the bird. I don't remember the bird's name. The door fucking opened. That was cool. Oh, that's his name. With great caution, for eternal doom and damnation are but one wrong step away at any given moment. That is why none is more suited to appear in this audience chamber than the princessin, whose Al de Ertalong de Frozen Kaleido Phantasmus has won this ten thousand battles across three thousand worlds. Indeed. Main Floylein has watched many games of Genius Invocation TCG, and has gained a solid grasp of the rules. Even in a duel between beginners, it is best that both participants are well versed in them. Oh, that's true. 
duel between beginners. Ah, this makes sense, Dad. Prince did say that even if an Aparis is someone of a similar skill level, guess that means Spatial hasn't been playing that long either. Hmm. The princess and me is but a single glance at these mere machinations of mankind to discern their working principles. Oh my god, this girl is so annoying to listen to. Paralleled by lightning alone, do I now arrive here at the gateway to yonder circle of secrets? Main foy line two has bested two opponents thus far, and is therefore one step away from becoming an official TCG player. Well, there's a lot on the line, huh? Either official or the traveler is going to come out of this duel as an official TCG player. Indeed. Zessen herself heeds the call of fate and descends to this realm from the Immanachrite. Yet still you dare to doubt the inevitability of the inevitable. Your <laughs> stubborn foolishness is contemptible. Main Fräulein, I implore you to consider less odious turns of phrase, lest you be forced to feast on your words in the fullness of time. What say you, Outlander? Do you wish to make an enemy of me, the Princess and of Ertelung, who even now begins to strum the strings of fate that shall sound out the Traveler's Requiem? Um, verily, tis time then to duel. I say it is time to see what you are made of. Oh my gosh, she has different cards. Official and Bennett. I want a official card. And a Bennett. I want all the cards. I should be allowed to get the cards for having the characters. What does this do? Uh, switch that. Oh, I should have switched this as well, because none of my characters use that. No. Okay. Oh, who do I want to attack with first? Um, two cards. I, I can do it. Please give me animo. That's not animo. That none of that is animo. Oh no. Okay, slightly better. Dendro, okay. We're gonna switch over to another character, I think. Which character? Um. Let's switch over to Kaya. Oh, good. Oh my god. Let me use the card. And we'll do that. Oh wait, that was the wrong thing to do. Oh no. This will be interesting. Should have done that 
after I fish the Kaya. <gasps> I still have attacks I can do. Dodge this. Um, and then I can do this. And round. Oh, I can give that to Sucrose. Oh wait, I don't need I don't go. Mm. Okay. We're just gonna stick with Kaya this round. Oh. Okay, we can switch to Sucrose. That'll work in my favor, actually. Okay, give you that. What is this? Ooh. If I have to refuse my two animal cards. Okay. Because I'm dumb. Don't get frostbite. Actually. I should switch to Diluc. Oh, that's Shenhu. I don't know what that did. Um, we're gonna... Let's go. Okay. Dodge I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it was like a temporary thing. Okay, I see. I don't know at all what I'm doing, but I'd say I'm doing pretty good. Roll phase. So we have Kaya currently. Ooh, we should switch to Sucrose after this. Okay, definitely switch to Sucrose. What the hell? I 
I want to help. Uh, this doesn't look good. This is but a small sacrifice necessary to achieve ultimate victory. What? I'm not done here. What's this do? Oh. Um. Then I can attack again. Okay. Oh, uh, what happened? Pause. With lightning, twitch the upper and lower mandible. The right side pointy beak into this obstacle and remove it from my path. Nay, Foylein. I cannot simply attack the traveler. <laughs> She has so many action cards. Okay, we currently have Sucro selected, but she's probably gonna die. So we'll switch over to Deluga, I guess. Oh god. Okay. Opponent's turn. But probably gonna kill me. Yes. Oh my god. Can't my research has Let's finish. <laughs> now see what happens to those who dare defy the princesses. Ten health or ten damage. That was overkill. But yeah, I got an achievement or something. Impossible! Oh, the cursed dragon looms near once more. Casting its dark shadow on the slender threads of fate, hiding them from my vision. Traveler, was even this part of your plan? Um. What a truly ingenious plot, and what an exciting duel to witness. Congratulations, you've won three duels now. That makes you an official TCG player. I've won two games so far. When I got back, I heard you were in the middle of your final duel. So I came over to watch. Hey! Sucrose won two as well! Great work! Hmm. It seems I am forced to admit, fellow voyager of the stellar void, that your mastery of the cards is second to none. To commemorate your glorious ascent to a battlefield beyond this lowly mortal realm, I grant thee an incarnation of my majesty in miniature. As you embark on this ingenious vocation, may you wield it in battle against all your fated foes, that not a single one of them may be left standing. Main Fräulein wishes to give you a Main Fräulein character card. I dare not take advantage of the princess and generosity. Tis a mere token of such. To the victor of this splendid duel is a boon of commensurate splendor due. Why is her tights like that? I just noticed that about her character. Why is one tight like lower than the other? 
with like a fancy sharpener. What the fuck is this character design? Anyway. Oh, um, excuse me, ma'am. I am also a beginner who has won two games so far. Might I also have the honor of joining you in a duel? If you would be willing, of course. Nothing would delight me more. I hereby grant oh you my God, permission so to join me in performing <laughs> the hallowed rite of genius invocation. One other thing. When I got back, Prince and Shuyun said there was something they needed to give you. If you managed to become an official TCG player. Then another test? Probably not. Is it like a character card? That was a character card. Electro Dice. I summon my eternal familiar, Osvaldo Krapnavine, to my side. Heed my invocation. But Lin Toyline, I have been by your side all along. <sighs> I mean, in the game, Oz. I mean. Hmm. Then I'll use chaotic entropy to. Invoke a large wind spirit that deals increased damage when it carries an element other than anima. So, oh, so be it. One shall not be swayed by such a feeble attack. <sighs> Maybe it's just not interrupt our game. Bad. I wanted to flash it up. Oh my god, the door just like opens. It's so cool. Okay, anyway. Give me my prize. Whatever it is. Ah, so it was you who won the duel in the end. I knew you'd do it. Congratulations. You are now officially recognized members of the Genius Invocation TCG community. Cool. Very well done. Now I will explain to you what becoming an official TCG player entails. The first thing all new official TCG players receive is their TCG Player's Handbook. This handbook tells you exactly what you need to do to become a top-tier TCG player, but make sure you read it. Secondly, a range of Genius Invocation merchandise is now available for you to purchase here at the Cat's Tail. <laughs> so you see, becoming an official TCG player is really just the first step. And thirdly, Whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use the invitation board there. Whoever you wish to duel against, simply invite them to the tavern for a game. Okay. Yes, it's right by the bar counter. Once you get the hang of it, you can play with your friends whenever you want. I literally That's only have brilliant. one friend who still plays this game. If there's anything else you didn't quite understand, you can always come and ask me. <coughs> yes, indeed. I'm quite sure they will. Oh, sorry. I forgot to translate for you. Prince would like to say, "Hope you have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG." So, uh, okay. I don't care. I don't want to read that. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. How do you... Oh my god. How do you open the thing? How do I open the thing? It probably told me. <laughs> um. Okay, I know all this. What? I don't know how to open the thing. How do you open the thing? I don't know.
Okay. Uh. Oh wait, it's Tubby. Hi, Tubby. Hi, Tubby. Oh, it's you two. What are you doing here? Oh, wait, I, I gotta get out of the ceramic teapot. Can I do it? Of course I can. Ah, uh, but this is your first time seeing me outside of the teapot realm, isn't it? Although the Adepti created teapot spirits primarily to manage and maintain their teapot realms, our movements are not restricted to those domains. For instance, there's Chubby, a oh, fuck. jade seeker, shot my phone. who travels far and wide to gather the rarest treasures in the land. Uh, but it is true that I, in contrast, rarely leave the teapot realm at all. Ah, I know what to do. Huh. Well, since you so rarely leave, what's the occasion today? Uh, you didn't come for a drink? As curious as I am to know how the drinks here differ from those in Liyue. No, in fact, I was sent here for a reason. What reason is that? Um, and as it happens, it has something to do with the traveler, too. Hmm. Well, as I'm sure you've discovered, with the rising popularity of Genius Invocation TCG, Inviting a friend to a duel in the tavern has become a fun way to pass the time. There's just one little problem. Many invitees currently have to travel an enormous distance to get here, turning the whole thing into quite an ordeal. I have therefore been sent here to create a little game room, using the same Adeptus art as is used to construct teapot realms. That way, anyone with an invitation will need only to think the thought and they will instantly appear in the game room. You will be free to use the room whenever you wish to invite a friend to duel, and it will be far more straightforward for them to take you up on the offer. Wow! This will make things much easier! But what if Margaret finds out? She's not going to get mad at you for renovating her tavern with your Adeptus Arts, is she? Um... That shouldn't be a problem, since the realm will not be physically located within the cat's tail. Besides, we obviously sought the owner's permission in advance. She was quite enthusiastic. Oh, Li Yue's Adepti art sound pretty uh. useful. Could you double the size of the tavern while you're at it? Unfortunately, my mastery of Adeptus arts is not sufficient to achieve this. Anyway, it's great that you're here. I was expecting to have to wait until your next visit to the teapot realm to fill you in. Right then. That reminds me. I need to visit my teapot. Okay, that should do it. Over to you. Now you can invite friends to duel with you in this room wherever in the world they are. I hope it serves you well. Oh, and I almost forgot. A guy from the tavern wanted me to say this to you. Hope you will have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. Okay. Meow. I want to see my cats now. Uh, are we done now? Invite character. How do we get these? Ooh. Within six rounds. Oh my god, this is so much. I don't want to play any more card games. Uh, I'm so done with the card game right now. Okay. Why are these things sparkly? I need to. Oh, it's a TCG player. Okay, I need to run to the bathroom, refill my cup, 
say hi to my cats and oh my god it's four in the morning jesus and we will be right back while i go do that if anyone is still awake watching me you should go do that get some food a drink use the bathroom if you need while i do my while i take care of my needs go do that now